the Flatbush Zombies. Peace. Oh, oh peace. my God. Peace. It's the gang. It's the gang. It's the gang. It's the gang. Yeah, you have a good trip just now? Yeah, yeah, I was tripping out, but I'm back. Okay, okay, where'd you go? <laughs> I was right here. Oh, okay. okay. Nice. 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 <laughs> so, where y'all coming from? What do we do today? Uh, I'm sure. Fresh shit. We just did some Reddit shit, shit right at the crib. I was at the crib doing some Reddit shit. I was yeah. doing it at the emergency room. You was what was, was that? Yeah. <laughs> I was on, on Reddit doing the question and answer we had. Oh, is that like a segment on Reddit? The emergency room? No, nah, I was oh, in the emergency, the emergency room, room doing room. that shit. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, probably in the emergency room place on Reddit, though. Yeah, yeah I'm like, when that that sounds like, your story it sounds really Reddit-like. You know what I'm saying? Josh like, was like, you need to be behind a computer. And I was like, let me find out. So Let me sign like, in. I need to be a part of the computer. You just took the house the receptionist computer or some shit? Nah, I did it on my phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Typing. Yeah. Bought the virtual keyboard out just... <laughs> You know, that's coming, though. I've seen them doing that. Like, well, eventually, like the, they're going to have, actually? like, the the phone, like, project the keyboard on the table. Oh, nah, oh, oh, I don't just know if I'm like, ready for that. Me neither. I think I've seen concepts of that a long time ago, I'm not sure. Yeah. I told niggas I'm about to start downgrading, like, one stage. Like, like every year when they make a new one, I'm about to just get the one below it and just keep going back. Yeah, this shit going to be fucking up. It's <laughs> all good. You're going to be back to pages. This shit's going to be getting a buzz. This shit's crazy, bro. She's going to be getting a buzz. I mean, yo, just think about it, bro. Like, did you think, like... Ten years later, it'd be no fucking like, like we doing the map quest and shit off our phone. Like I still remember when my you mom's had to print, had to print out this shit out, yeah. yep. and like we driving and got to read line well, once by Once you make line. that one mistake, you got to retrace it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Facts. Damn, I'm coming from a map. Just kidding. Fucking Atlas. I ain't never had a glove box. I ain't never had a map. Have you used a compass before? Up uh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> what? That way you know which direction you headed. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, that's Sundown. crazy. Nah, I ain't never used a compass. I used a map though. My, my grandfather used to have one that was on his dashboard. That's so wherever you drive, you know which that's direction you're headed. Dope. That's, that's how I really learned to navigate. My, my grandfather, the map. We ain't shit no more, y'all. Right, yeah, right. We lost, we lost his ass. Got everything lost handed it to us. us. I don't even remember people's phone number. If it's not in my Yo, phone, I have no idea. We remember hundreds of numbers. Bro, yeah. Yeah. I know I his number. That's I only know his number. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's <laughs> not telling no why, but. Yeah. <laughs> we were all. That's oh, crazy, man. bro. Yeah, I, it's like a, probably one or two or three numbers, including my own, that yeah. I know by mm-hmm. heart. That's, yeah. that's fact. I remember your old house number. Yeah, I still got that. That's weird. I remember my mom's old house number yeah. forever. So yeah, man. Yeah. That's weird, right? I remember all my mom's numbers. Yeah, mm-hmm. you should. Actually, I think it's a job of getting to memorize yeah. when you're a kid. Like, once she gives it to you, you gotta remember. Gotta remember yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. Anything, we have some anything, some anything happened at school yeah. or anything, you gotta, gotta know that deck. number, Thanks like, right, right on that. You know what I'm saying? For Especially real. the teachers. What's your mother number? Change the last digit yep. real quick. Like, I So, like, we were talking off camera about smart lights and just, like, the whole Wi Fi thing in general. And all that stuff is cool, no, but I was just like, you know, this whole thing about 5G towers. Mm. And like the electromagnetic fields that's so like radiation, radiation. Yeah. Your, your fucking your router and all that shit gives you yeah. yeah. So it's like beautiful that we're, we're advancing as, as humans, but like to know that they're giving off radiation. And that's why we have so much cancer. It's kind of crazy. But, but hold yeah. on, so much cancer. But are we advancing as humans or is just technology? No, just technology. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It seems like it's dumbing them down. Here's what yeah. I love to say though: Have we really made anything that's changed mankind? Like has really helped mankind? Yes. We made it. What? Metro clubs. We make gadgets, but we haven't. Niggas is not striving to make the next invention that's going to help mankind. Niggas is striving to make the next invention to make money. What about like. Or to keep um, them in the illusion. Right. Keep them in a certain vibration. What about like geoengineering stuff? Yeah, like, but those. They've been talking know. about the same shit, the same blueprints for years. These niggas been trying to get. These niggas been trying to do solar energy forever. Solar panels. Yeah, I got solar, solar panels over here. Yeah, yeah. finally going. They could have been done that like 30 years ago. Sure. So imagine where we could have been now. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. No, you like, see the agenda, though. That's like the agenda. Like, yeah. Core BP the and all them niggas stopped all that solar shit years ago. So what I'm yeah. saying is, like, they never let shit like that go for it. But if you came up with a new gadget, all for it. A new well, camera. at least not until they find out how to make it lucrative for themselves. Oh, yeah. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. That, that's really, really what that. it be. Like, oh, yeah, this could help niggas, but, that's what it's about. you know, it's, we need you our pocket help. shit up to, like, stop it and mm-hmm. then release it later. Like, exactly. now it fits our... Program. We should be right. having solar panel cars years ago. We should have. Yeah. Yo, we water should have flying cars. cars. Water 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 flying cars, water cars water. at water. Life should be solar powered. <laughs> For real, <laughs> <laughs> What are we doing? Like, yeah, now that's that shit is free. I mean, life, is, life is solar power. Very true. Power. Very true. It, it is. For sure. It is. Yeah. But, you know, it should be everything running off of solar energy. Imagine that. 
Yeah. Motherfuckers. Some, uh, shit. Paradise. A lot of people would be. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. In paradise. A lot of these companies would be broke. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Out Overall, of business. Door so selling old niggas would be tight. Out of business. That's why they ain't do it yet. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. They got to you know. make solar power batteries. They go right there and gave it to them. I'm about to patent that shit when I get back. Fuck. <laughs> now, don't they got those rechargeable batteries? No, they got rechargeable, but solar, solar power. Like solar, solar, solar power little, batteries. Yeah. Little, little, little door sold out the window at night. Right. You charge your remote. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, vacation in hell. Fucking great album. Amazing, Thank guys. you. Like, Thank I ain't you, saying that because I know y'all <laughs> word, and I'm word. cool with y'all. Y'all my brothers, like... I mean that shit from the bottom of my heart. Super like, fire, man. bro. Super fire. Like I, I call you. I Facetime them. Like yo, bro. I finally got to listen to the album from front to back, and that shit is amazing. Like not a bad, not a single bad track. Not a, not a, even anything that felt like filler mm. to me. Mm-hmm. And like Relax. what I love too is like tracks one through six. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Slap, yeah. Slap, yeah. Slap, yeah. slap, yeah, slap, yeah. I hate like to use that word slap. But it's slap. No, they it's slap. real. It's real. <laughs> slide. Very Slide. Slide. Yeah. Bro, too, from your Slide. last joint. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, I mean? yeah. As someone who's on the outside listening, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. My the, favorite the tracks, definitely, like, I love Hello. Yeah, that one is like... I love I the way I started. Shit. Like, the way the album just came. Yeah, it worked. Start, like, the hard. way as soon as you put that shit mm-hmm. on. And then the second track, I forget the name, but like... That's uh, Chunky. Chunky. Yeah. Chunky, yep. Pack your When you're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit, I love... Of course, our shit, vacation and... I'll be bumping that. Big Fact. vacation, yeah. Fact. <laughs> Love Fact. that. Oh, yeah. Fact. I thought you were saying facts. Fact. Fact. That's all I'm like. That's the beauty of that song, though, right? Facts. 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 That shit hard. Love Brick Shrimp. Shout out to Kirk. Yeah, shout out to Kirk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I love Misunderstood, too, and I try to mm-hmm. plug my niggas, but you know what I'm saying? That's an underrated song, man. This is hard. I love that song. Oh, you and my sunshine. Yeah, I like that shit a lot, man. I'm glad people really fucking like an emotional heavy. That's a heavy ass song. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, I love all your emotional shit though. Like even this one and like Ascension from the last album. Like that's, I love I love when you get in that that bag. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, man. Everybody used to Darko and shit, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, I love when you give us some meat. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 100%. Yeah. 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 Gets me. 100%. Yeah. 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 Gets me, man. Sure. <laughs> Get me, bro. Yeah, you already know. Now, did you do all the beats? I did like 16 or 17, Word. something like that. Word. So he so had that cool. face like, you put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, like, you got a nigga to take the notes. Like, 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 ain't nobody got to know it, right? That's, that's, most most of it. that's most of it. Except for Kirk's. I still have to arrange it, so I'll take that credit. Yeah, but I would never take it. from Kirk and Hector no, and Tyler. Yeah, true yeah. indeed. Mm-hmm. Oh, Heck did one? Yeah, Heck did. Oh, and really? Ask Courtney. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lord, I didn't even know Heck, Heck was on that. So, yo, how, how did y'all come up with that title? I mean, it's so in line with the brand, but like, where did it? Who came up with it? Like, where did it come came from? Came up with it. Yeah. I ain't going uh, front. I'm yeah. gonna tell the God honest truth. I had the phrase. I went on Google to see if somebody had it before us. Mm-hmm. It was an old school movie. That was a television movie mm-hmm. from the '70s, and he was and like perfect. You know, <laughs> and it was just like I, it was. It seemed like perfect for what was going on in life for us being gone for two years. Niggas thinking you just gone for two years, relaxing, doing nothing really. Like right. it was just. It's just like you said, the beginning half is a hitter, but the second half of the album kind of gets more introspective and mm-hmm. explains to them what we went through, what's going on in life, and all it's that. It's a beautiful balance, and that's why, like, yeah, the title was just perfect, yo. Even in the beginning, like when I brought it up, you know, the discussion was like, "What does this title mean exactly?" And I think like that question stopped happening real yeah. early. Yeah, like, yeah. When we started making more tracks. Like, it's like, oh, okay, this title is what, what we're mean. going through in life. Like, mm-hmm. it's literally what we're going through. Yeah, it's almost like the album give me like a a beautiful death type of feel. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, is I could listen to the whole thing straight through. Because I ain't gonna lie, when I first came to the studio, we did vacation, mm-hmm. I was like, damn, like, why y'all putting 18 songs on it? Yeah. But then after listening to it in its entirety, I'm it like, works. okay, I see why it's y'all put 18 songs. songs. It works. It's a lot yeah. of songs. I mean, there's not a song that I would take off. You know what I'm saying? Modes, so. That's yeah, why I'm trying, than that. I'm trying to Absolutely. also see now, like, with this weird age where niggas have 40 songs on, the, on an album, 30 songs on an album, like, how are people gonna digest it? Because I've heard somebody say, yo, I listened to the first half, and I have to get out my cab. And it was still satisfied. So that right. makes me feel great Word. in general. And then somebody, he could pick up from that second half and finish the album. So it's like, you could pick up from whatever half you yeah. want. And I feel like the, we didn't structure it for the songs to exist on their own per se. They, they blend together. But I feel like, like you said, the songs are strong enough to exist on their own. You ever listen to somebody's album and it's like, damn, this song is not the same unless you played the one before. Word. Right. Yeah, I don't feel like that. this album really does. Maybe Real Girls and Facts. Like, yeah, me personally, only... I want to hear that those back to back. But other than that, all other songs I seem to be... I love Real Girls too. Shout out to Bun. Yes. Yeah, Shout yeah. out to Bun B, the OG, man. He always... He was saying too, um, playing it 
at the beginning or the middle, if you play it at the <coughs> beginning and you play it to the middle, it's like you go through one feeling, but then, like he said, it goes to the next part. If you start it from the middle, you can play it the other way, yeah. too, and let it go from, like, 11 to 1. It's almost like on some From Dust Till Dawn type shit, too. Because mm-hmm. yeah. I feel like it started in the nighttime, and then it progresses mm-hmm. to, like, some brighter, mm-hmm. like, daytime shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, that shit is dope. So y'all going on tour as yeah. well. Cool. Right? We going on tour with some pros. Hey. 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 Shout out to Nick. Hey. Nick. Yep. You know what yep. I'm saying? Like, what... This is a cliche question. Like, <laughs> people ask me this shit all the time, but like, I gotta ask y'all, y'all my bros. Like, what, what's y'all favorite city? Like, what city y'all looking forward to the most? Fuck, fuck, I hate disappointing people, making them feel bad when we don't say their city. Fuck them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. It's always the West Coast. Yeah, it's always I the West Coast. I would say some of the West Coast. Yeah, yeah. that's San <laughs> Yeah, it'd be like, yeah, that's, that'd be crazy. crazy that goddamn San Yo, but no, low key, Boston be crazy, though. Boston? Whoa, Boston? 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 Boston I'm looking crazy. forward to Boston. I mean, Boston, 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 Boston too. That's what I, was born. Yeah. I love that. Boston nice. be crazy. Boston's Boston's always top five. Last man. House of Blues in Boston was like, bro. Always top five. Five. I think I can answer this question for y'all. Boston, Chicago, of course New nine, York, mod. Um, L. A., San Fran, Santa Ana. Uh, we Salt Lake City be crazy. Denver, Denver Salt Lake City. Denver be crazy. Yeah. I mean, I'm tired of. With like the Denver and the Salt Lake City weather and like the, the elevation, I'm tired of it. I'll be tired. Bro, by, by then I'll be tired. Say, you're not the I'll be getting sick. I'm just like, bro, I like, like to do that joke. I'll be winded. I will hop out the whip. I'm winded. You laugh too hard. Go up, go up two steps. Winded, bro. Like that should be. Killing me. That shit rough, man. man. I ain't gonna lie, but if we do it at the end of the tour, it don't bother me. If we start the tour uh, over there, them shows be kill. I be, I, I, I be scared sometimes. Like, am I gonna when pass it? out? Yeah, one time I didn't really eat too good, and I was just lightheaded for the majority of the trip. And I'm just like, damn, I really bro, gotta pee on my shit. Me too. Me <laughs> yeah. too. If you smoke the gas out there, you might pass out. Yeah. Bro, if you drink out there, like your blood get really thin, and you might you got the spot. oxygen I mean, at the Red Rocks. It's gotta be crazy. Like, you have yeah. Have that yeah. Shit, just in the case. Right. In the yeah. yeah. It's gotta be like, like when we did Red Rocks, I tried to do the crowds. I crowd surf on it. I was just like in the crowd, like. How I don't did know you if I can crowd breathe. surf Red Rock? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's a crowd climb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tory Lanez did it too. I'll give him some respect. He did it, but he's also, he's also a lot lighter than me. But I did that shit and I was dying, bro. I was in the crowd like, I don't know if I can make it back. What do you jump on to? Like, you got to crawl people, You got to crawl. Yeah. You got to crawl. You got to crawl. Usually, usually what I do, I tap one person that they focus like, Hold, hold on to me. Yeah, that's how we do it. They too. smack the sense into them. They grab my leg. Make the eye contact. Yep. Like, yo, I'm, I'm Sometimes coming. they don't know what you're saying. Sometimes they don't know what you're saying. <laughs> yo, so, like, what's y'all, like, creative process like? Like, it's three of y'all. Like, I've always been fascinated with, like, is it cool to call y'all a group? Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I've always been fascinated with it because, like, I always think, like, damn, like, just on the solo tip, I bang out so many songs. A day just on my own, but I always think like, yo, if I was in a group, like we'd be getting the whole album done a mm-hmm. day. So it's like, speak to that a little bit. Like, how do y'all normally come up with this shit? Like, do you just make the beat and then they come with the join, or it's like <sighs> hook first? It, it, I mean, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure it it's like, 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 like subject to change. Are. It depends on like what the records are. Like, I could mm-hmm. remember, you know, some of the records on the album how they started, but it's just different at sometimes. Like, yeah, sometimes Eric will have a beat. That he sent us a long time ago mm. that spoke to us more so now. Not that the beat like wasn't right for that time. Right. Sometimes Eric would be like, yo, I have this idea for the song. And he had to put the beat and he's like, yo, we should make a song like this. And sometimes it just goes off whoever goes off first, sets the tone. Right. Um and usually we feel the same about a lot of shit. Yeah. We have a lot of middle ground. It's never really and even if I don't know, it's weird. I know how to make music with the I know how to make music with these niggas where if a song's about having a kid, I don't have a kid, I can still make a song with juice about having a son. Right. Like so. So it's like one of these weird things. I'm making music with my brother, so the goal is just to make the best song. We don't even really think about it sometimes. This shit just naturally, yeah. it just be happening. Like, a song right. like, say, Leather, Leather Symphony with 12, yeah. right? I love that shit, he too. He came, me too, bro. There was no bad song on that album. Yeah, like, fact, he jumped in the title, I'm like, oh, yeah, like, that's my shit, too. Up, like, like, yeah. Yeah. The shit is crazy is that like you would think that we made all of that shit, so like you saying, like in the same room or whatever, like that song, he was, we was in LA, I was in the Ace Hotel, 
and he wanted to rap on something. Y'all love the Ace Hotel. Me too. Yeah, I love it. He said, I was like, me too. He wanted to rap on some shit. I forgot who beat it was, but he rapped on it. I was like, I'm about to delete that beat and make a new beat. So we deleted that beat. I made the beat and he fucked with it, but he had no chorus, and that's where it ended. That song, we didn't work on it till January of this year, and that was well over a year and ago. that's one of my favorite beats you've made. Crazy, bro. Ever. Like, it just sit like that. Like, mm-hmm. And then the the part that I played at the beginning, I made it the day that 12 we came to record his verse. Mm-hmm. So that just sparked that day, and 12 we put his shit down. He put the chorus down that day, too. Yeah, so. and um, it was going to be Red Man, 12 mm-hmm. and I. Um, Red didn't get back in time. And, um, Shout out to Red Man, though. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sir, yes, And uh, Josh had the idea to go back and forth at the end. And then we mm. just went back and forth. Dope. Yeah. Dope. Shout out to Josh, man. Indeed. Yeah, shout out to Josh. You know what I'm saying? Josh he did. Like, he did. It's safe to say Josh is like the, the sixth man. Like, yeah. A little bitch. more than that. But and he yeah, got he bars. He's the coach and the sixth man. Mm-hmm. Hey. Coach and the sixth man. Hey. Shout out coach to Josh, man. Yeah. Shout out to, 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 man, to great managers. For real. Shout yeah. out to good managers, man. Right. Yo, so what you, what you got yeah, going on over there, E? Um, I'm drawing right now. We got 47 minutes, so I figured I was going to draw something in 47 minutes. The rest of these I drew was not in 47 minutes, but I'm going to see what happens. Okay. <laughs> and then when I'm done, I'm going to give it to y'all. That's fine. Y'all need friends like Eric. Yeah. <laughs> y'all need friends like Eric. You better I'm like, hurry up this shit now. Going to overtime, boys. Check the clock real quick. Oh, yeah. So, yo, like, when did y'all first click up? Like, when, when, when did that happen? Yo, even like, even um, though like we mans and shit, I don't think I ever really got the story. Like that's mm-hmm. true. How y'all really I met like Eric when I was like four years old at one of my mans. Really? Like, yeah. Y'all know each other that long? Yeah, I know yeah. Eric for like I know this nigga, and I knew this nigga since fourth grade. So I knew these niggas forever. Like just school. Yeah. Him yeah. from school, him I met on the block. Eric lived on the block for me. Oh, that's crazy. So like I've known Eric like even when me and Eric was talking the other day, like I've known Eric from the time we like you're not allowed to go across the street. Like, I know, like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, He's like, like, I know from, like, you know, yeah, niggas, older is, than this nigga too, so niggas afraid of the dark crazy. times and shit like that. Like, when niggas is like, we know each other since kids, where we're, we're kids. Like, yeah, this nigga kids. had keys before I had keys, bro. Yeah, I had keys since I was like, keys, he's younger than me. I had keys since I was like six years old. I was the only nigga that was like, the kid that was. I was one of those niggas too, you know, I had keys early. can't go, my mother was like, Usually when a kid can't go across the street, she's like, you can go across the street, you can't go around the block. Yeah. I was going around the block when niggas got to go across the street. I had Facts. keys when yeah, niggas ringing yeah, the bell. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, that, that, that's how long I knew him. And I knew him since fourth grade. Me and this nigga Juice just, uh, we just, I don't know exactly how we just mesh with each other, but since the first day, right? It's the first day of school. That's crazy, yeah, bro. It's the that's first day beautiful. of school. And he wasn't in my school in the beginning. He, he transferred over. Yeah. yeah. Well, so he was like the new kid in the school. Yeah. One of the Another yeah. yeah. And I just came to, came to school, and me and this nigga, I went to his crib, played video games, chill. Nigga, that's beautiful. And that was it. We've been bro. friends ever since. That's amazing. Yeah. So, like, what made y'all get into rapping, though? Yeah, how does that hit? Obviously, the friendship came first. What made y'all say like yo, we a lot of it start. comes from just watching him? He a lot been of it. Yeah. Wow. A lot of I was rapping first. Man, niggas like, oh, it's cool you rap now. I'm like, nah, I make beats now. Like, I was rapping first. Yeah. And then niggas were sending me really trash beats. I was just like, yo, I gotta figure out how to make beats. And I always looked up to Pharrell, Teddy Riley, Dr. Right. Dre. I was always a fan. Like, even like Herbie Hancock, all these other niggas. You know what I mean? Facts. And I just learned, and we used to make music just for fun. But I did it kind of more serious. And I feel like when they came into it, it was more like I could stop talking about serious issues and not talk about stuff that we going through and shit, being Word. a kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, Facts. So when did you start producing? Probably like 17, 16. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what, what, what programs are you using like at first? Fruity Loops at first. Yeah. <laughs> then I bought a... Um, I feel like we all started on Fruity Loops. You got to. Loops. You got to figure I'm out not first. known as a it producer. It was a free program, when I, right? Yeah. yeah. When I, I'm not known as a producer. When I first started producing, or when I made beats, it was, Fruity Loops. Beat it was on Fruity Loops. And I remember even like, because me and Kirk knew each other since sixth, sixth grade. Mm. And I remember I was like, yo, Kirk. Because Kirk used to be ill on just the table. Like, he was one of those dudes who move his hands at like 50 miles per hour. Like, just. <laughs> so I remember just being like, yo. <laughs> I remember realizing, like, all right, I think I want to do music. Yo, Kirk, I need you to transfer this shit 
into this program called Fruity Loops. Mm. I just had him download that shit ever since. He's just been fucking going crazy. Fruity Loops Fine. started a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Fruity Loops. Yeah, yeah. 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 Niggas still use that shit. Yeah, who get the credit it nah, deserves? Some big producers still use. Some still big producers use. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah. still Metro believe be though. Using Fruity Loops. Facts. I still believe though. Like if you really want to learn, you gotta. I don't even know how to use the SR10, but it's like I'm a. I'm. I'm. A, I'm gonna do that. I did use the MPC2000, mm-hmm. and I used the Roland MV8000. So like just using the real equipment to me was always like. Absolutely. That's the way Dilla, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Niggas like that really that's put like, that's, that's where I'm coming from. Real shit, bro. SB12 and all that. Yeah, yeah. So when Fruity Loops comes out, it was like, yo, this is free program. You can make that one. Yep. He was yeah, like, y'all was like, y'all was like, y'all yeah, was like, what bullshit, the fuck man. is Fruity Loops? Get out of here. Get out of here. Fruity you can't loops. make beats on computers. That's what I used to tell them. Mm-hmm. Like, you got to make beats on beat machines. Now all right. niggas now, just now, making beats Me, on myself, I'm on Logic. Yeah. They got that. They got that. They got that. Are you right? See? They got like 1,000, but you know. They got like the analog simulators and shit now, like on the computers. I remember all that equipment Eric bought. Like, I remember all that shit from the beginning. Yeah, I had everything, bro. I had everything, bro. Like what? I had that. I you had, had an SP? Nah. Nah, I never. You ain't have everything. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I was missing that. I was missing that. I had a lot of, like, outboard gear. Like, I had, um, uh, so, uh, like, a fatty, like a, uh, what do you call them shits? The, the ones, like, they're, like, rack mounts. Oh. But instead of buying the keyboard, yeah, you, yeah. Yep. you know what I'm saying? Like, like a mini joint. Right. So the sounds mm-hmm. are in the module, and then you got the keyboard. Oh, yeah, plugged, plugged up. Plugged it in. Yeah. All that shit. I had so X- which one you had? Yeah. Which one you had? Fat, fat, uh, Planet Fat or whatever? Planet Fat. Yeah, I had okay. Roland XP5080. Yeah, that's a joke. You know, I had, then I got the um the tr- the Triton, the Cork Triton. Because yep. I heard Big that. Mm, uh, yeah, I Allure, Jay-Z Allure was made, there was like, I heard Pharrell got that shit from the Triton. I was mm-hmm. like, I gotta get that shit. Just mad, to do it. Mad beats from that no, Just to Triton. Mad mm. well, beats. Hell yeah. So like, y'all knew each other since like, kids, kids. Like almost babies. Yeah, four years old. Really like famous type shit. That's like the earliest you can really like, remember, probably. <laughs> and then y'all started rapping because of Eric, but when did the Flappers Zombies actually start? And what made y'all call it the... I mean, except for the Flappers part, obviously, yeah. but <laughs> what made y'all be the Zombies? Were, were y'all just uh, zombieacs or some shit? Partially, yeah, partially, 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 so partially, like, partially, man. Another me and Juice used to, like, never sleep. Man. Um, Obviously, you know, the, the smoking, the, the whatever, but it was more of like the psychedelic, I think it was a psychedelic breakthrough really niggas yeah. really had when we experimented with psychedelic drugs. He got to do psychedelics before me. Him and Issa from Underachievers got to do that shit before me. Yeah. Um, but when I did it, for some reason, I just had like a real, like I said, my death, the death of my ego. I really had I heard like, that, bro. That's, I, that I had a super breakthrough, bro. Fire. You remember the day when I said I died? You said it was the rebirth of your consciousness? Yeah, it really was. Like, yeah. you know. Um, death of the And ego. yeah, that was really some, some, some real shit. That's beautiful. I don't know, one day I was just in the crib and it just... You know, some shit just come to you. It ain't like it wasn't like we sat together and was like, well, this, we is need this, this name. This is this is this is and it's weird because it wasn't even attached to music at first. It was just our mind state and our lifestyle. Yeah. Mm. And yeah, and just just form together, man, natural, bro. So one day it's just like just like that, bro. Yes. Yeah. Just like that, two words. And then when I talked to Phil about making a logo, <laughs> nigga literally made what we had in fucking mind what we described to him. Perfectly. His first take was the logo. Yeah. Perfect, bro. Everything was just Damn. wow. Perfect, bro. And we, Yo, took, we took the um, logo and then we hit the streets and sold some t shirts. Like literally hit the street. We just put it out there. Yo, I remember That's when fine. I first seen y'all shit, like before we even <coughs> met, like seeing uh, Doug Waffle. Mm-hmm. I remember it was Steez who showed me too. It was like we was at Fury Crib. And like, we was all just chilling. You know how we do our fairy crib. We rolling mm-hmm. up and shit. Mm-hmm. He like, yo, y'all gotta pick the zombies. I'm like, who the flap with zombies? Like, flappers, we in flappers right now. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't hear about them. And this is like seven, 16, 17 year old Joey. He put y'all on the TV, bro. And I just remember like, how much shock value that video had. Like, you know, it's like, mm-hmm. y'all, was like the only cats I seen like besides like a whiz at that point with all the weed in the video. <laughs> and then it's just like, y'all whole style, I just never even seen anything like it. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was, it was. Part of why I wanted to rap was to show people, you know, our lifestyle yeah. and like solidify like, yo, this is what we're doing. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. That was a big thing Hell in the beginning. Yeah. Like, I wanted to show people like, movement. this is what's happening. Yeah. On. This movement. is the movement that's going on. Yeah. And you can't take that away from us. You know I didn't I mean? also realize how weird it was for people that like black kids were doing psychedelics. 
Yeah. Like we didn't really, really realize to like when they're like, "How'd you guys find you guys are from Flatbush in the ghetto?" And it's black like, people oh. doing psychedelics is like black people making rock music. Just gonna say, right. but it's like it's always been around. It's they just, were there. They're they're there. They're they're there. They're there. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? saying. It just, yeah. It's like feels that outlandish yeah. to like yeah. people. Like, now you know, yeah. now it's like I remember there was a time where juice whenever you Google acid tabs and our face came up and I was just oh, like, oh yeah, like not we made it, but like wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Our face pops up when you type that up. So, so what got y'all into psychedelics? Just always wanted to know more. Always wanted to have, to, 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 to have more experiences, just to, to have the feelings, just to what see with? shit. I don't know. Did you Not start see with pink elephants, but yeah, mushrooms. Start with mushrooms. Same, same. Start yeah. with, uh, I like that it started with mushrooms, if that, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I mean, it's like the natural same. thing. Natural. Yeah. You know that mushroom trip was Yo, like, That shit showed me how to rap, bro. Straight that up. That shit showed yeah. me. Could, could never rap, took mushrooms, could rap. That Yo, shit showed kids. Me everything. Kids. I have <laughs> <laughs> Message. 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 <laughs> the very first time that I took acid, I didn't even want to do it at first. I wanted to because I wanted to experience it, but I was kind of scared. Yeah. And um, uh, me and Issa, we, we copped it. And we're like, yeah, we're going to do it tonight. We're going to do it tonight. And I was just like, damn, do I really want to do this? What if it's like crazier than shrooms and like I fucking, you know, go haywire. Go and then um, I was just like, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do it tonight. And he was like, damn, really? Who was he with? Uh, Issa. Okay, and then he yeah. took it, and then I was just like, you know what, man? I can't let you do this alone. Yeah, yeah. And Not then I took it, and then after that, <laughs> 20 minutes, 30 minutes later, we're in this place called the community room, oh, and um, there's like a downstairs area of the community room, and the lights don't work. Because it's not even a place we're supposed to be at. Yeah. And then I was just like, yo, let's just go in the fucking dark. <clears throat> we're tripping. Let's just... Let's just destroy the element of dark. Let's just see if we get scared. Let's just see what happens in the dark. Yeah. And then we went to the dark and nothing happened. We felt peaceful as fuck. And, right. and then from that moment right. on, I was like, this is going to be the best night yeah. ever. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell y'all the story. Like, I remember, uh, you know, when I was first, like, getting familiar with psychedelics, like, like, you know, it was Steve's who put me, like, who got me into it. Like, I remember when we was on our first tour, um, we was, like, on the run with Juicy J. I'm like 17, like fresh out of my junior school. year in yeah. high school and shit like that. <laughs> and we in Whistler, Canada, right? So, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whistler, <laughs> Canada. That place. Yeah, Shout out yeah, to yeah. Whistler, yeah. Canada. Shout out to yeah. all the Canadians out there. We, we, we see y'all. Yeah. We've been you to know Whistler. What I'm saying? So we out there, right? And um, all of a sudden, Steve's is like, yo, I know there's shoes out here. Like, yo, let's go get some shoes. I'm like, all right, <laughs> like, yeah. but, but like I'm not. I'm, I'm like I don't know if I'm gonna do it. No, like, it's kind of like how yeah, you feeling. Yeah. Like I want to try it, but I'm kind of scared. You know what I'm saying? So out of nowhere, it's like three, four in the morning. We find like one of these twilight parties, where like white people are just raving in the woods. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Cause mm -hmm. that's what it was. So we pull up, and like Steve just finds this kid. With shrooms. Because <laughs> he knew he was going to get shrooms. Yeah, he just knew. He yeah. just knew. So he just, he debos a kid for shrooms. Yeah. We don't even pay for it. <laughs> like, like, he got real Brooklyn on him. Like, give me that, nigga. Like, took it. Boom. Right? So on the way back to the tour bus, we stopped at McDonald's. Because he's like, yo, you got to, you can't eat shrooms by yourself. You got to, like, yeah. have a supplement to, like, yeah. drown out the taste. taste of it. I'm yeah. like, all right. You know, that's my big bro. I'm just like. Bet I'm following, you know, what you say and shit. So then we finally get back to the bus. We got the McDonald's. At this point, it's like 5 in the morning. So we all put the shit on the fucking Mickey D's cheeseburgers or whatever oh the fuck God. we had. <laughs> we ate them shits, and we went right to sleep, right? Oh, man. Hey, yo, on this first Whoa. tour, on this first tour, it was like, uh, mind you, a tour, y'all know how tour buses is. It only hold 12 people. Mm -hmm. We had like... 18 people on this bus. <laughs> yeah, it was like me, yeah. Steez, Dirty, yeah. CJ, Fat Trail, yeah. two of his men, Smoke Dizza, Steve O, Jesus two more Christ. people, yeah, camera, yeah. boom, boom. Everybody on that bitch except energy. for Juicy J. Yeah. All the openers and shit except for Juicy J and shit, right? So so we 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 like had the the back of the bus, like that was pro Arizona. Like that's where we was at. So we went and we crashed, right? When I tell you. We all woke up inside the same dream. Wow. We all woke up inside the same dream. Like, the dream was we was back at the Twilight party, right? And then we, like, we just started having OBEs. Like, we woking off the bus. And then, because, like, you know, the whole time, we were like, yo, 
we should try to, you know, get some girls, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Early tour, young nigga shit. It was like, ah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So then we in the dream, like, we pulling the girls and we bringing them back to the tour bus. And then when we bring them back to where we laying at, we fall right back in our body. And like, I just kept waking up. Wow. Like, oh yeah. shit, back to sleep. Boom, do it again, right? Two, two hours later, because y'all know how that yeah, shit go. Mm-hmm. Like, you be thinking you slept for fucking hours. Yeah. It's only been like 30 minutes. We wake up, it's like 7 a.m. And then me and Steve's like, we look at each other, he's like, yo, you remember that shit? And we speak about the same fucking dream, bro. That's, That's fucking crazy. crazy. That's crazy. That's fire. Yeah, that bro, shit was yeah, one yeah, of fire. the craziest experiences I had in my life, bro. Yeah, That's crazy. crazy. After that, we just... Went and explored. It was like seven, eight in the morning. The sun is out now. We just went and explored the woods and shit. Like, that's where I broke my leg, too. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, the nature. beautiful. Bro, it was talk. perfect, talk bro. I ain't nature. gonna lie. Like, that experience was unmatched. Unmatched. God bless that's psychedelics. Yeah. God bless <laughs> <laughs> So, like, oh, what do you God guys bless. think is, like... Wow. You guys think there's any bad side effects about... I mean, obviously, anything... Doing anything too much. Bad yeah, I think sometimes yeah, people get too lost into that shit. Because you'll get... Yeah, you like get I detached. Being, you become too introverted. You get detached. There's, there's man. A such thing as being too woke and. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's true. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> Big fact. Yeah. Yeah. You just you you start just burning out. Niggas, you ain't start burning too much electricity. A lot of like that. Like um, I, I be seeing people be doing like microdosing and mm-hmm. shit like that. Like I don't really. I'm not into mm-hmm. like microdosing or doing. Like I I I, I'm on some like once a year type shit. Exactly. I'll yeah. fuck with exactly. Like, yeah. Get in touch. Get in to me, I'll give you the microdose thing if you're doing it for like. You know, you got anxiety or you got like some 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 other kind of issue and that really helps you out because that'd be helping people with depression. Really? It helps people with depression and all those kind of things. I mean, think about it. If you microdose on shrooms every day, you're going to be giddy as fuck. You're going to be smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there was a point in my time where I would just take eat a little bit of shroom. I'm not telling you, I just eat a little bit of it. And I'm just like, in the middle of the day, like, why am I so happy? Yeah. And I realized, oh, I had a little shroom this morning. Public service announcement, Joey Badass and the Flappy Zombies, you do not have to do psychedelics all year round. Yeah, like chill yeah, out. Yeah, chill yeah. the fuck out. I mean, yeah, yeah. you don't have to do psychedelics at Period. all. Period. Oh. Period. <laughs> you know well, what I never did it. Period. You I never, never did, did it? Huh? What the fuck? Oh, wow. You seem like the trippiest one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, never, never, never. Wow, so what's your, what's your whole thing beyond that? Like, you just... I don't know. It's like watching these niggas do it, and then Issa and these niggas, I've seen like at least 10 people on shrooms, acid, all that shit. Yeah, you just but like, just, yeah. you've never been inclined to do that shit. I feel like if it happened to me, it's gonna happen and I'm not gonna question it. It's just gonna it happen. It kind of calls you, because yeah. I didn't take it till I was like 27, 28. Mm-hmm. So when I reflected, you know, you're getting that reflective, mm-hmm. I was like 27 years yeah, to look yeah. back on. Oh, yeah. All my friends was 15, 16, mm-hmm. yeah. so it's like, yeah. wow. so it kind of calls you somewhere in life. Where That's it's like, you see, I just saw it and was like, Yo, what's your fuck with this? It wasn't meant it's to be. Tom. And Facts. I just ate it. Yeah. And it was on. Facts. Yeah. Like, the shrooms like, first for you? Yeah. That was like the natural, because I'm a weed head. So, so it was like, like, yo, we all from Brooklyn. Like, y'all ain't grew up the same way where it's like, yo, seeing shit like that, I ain't make y'all feel like y'all. Because I remember being at a point in my life, like, I remember coming, going to high school for the first time. Like, my whole life, I was in elementary school, black, uh, middle school, public schools in the hood. Then when I went to high school, I went to Elder Morrow. It was mm-hmm. the first time. Mm-hmm. I went to school with like white people. Mm-hmm. And I remember like one of my classmates, his name is Jimmy, shout out to Jimmy. It was like ninth grade. I remember him like coming to school. He's like, yo, I'm tripping on acid right now. I'm like, yo, bro, you bugging. Like, yeah. What the fuck is oh, yeah, wrong with you? Oh, yeah, you on You're drugs. Fucking totally yeah, you fucking loser. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the yeah. fuck? Like, Especially you need some help. I'm about to, I'm about to snitch on you. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to tell him. I'm like, yo, bro, what are you doing? Like, acid yeah. just sounds so crazy. Like, you you, you, you know, know what I'm saying? But that's, you know what I, you know what? Yeah, you're like, yeah. is this shit going to, like, melt my ass My thing was, like, we question everything else. Let me not act. I don't want to be ignorant. Let me do my research. So I did my research on every drug. And mm-hmm. I learned the difference. And when I did my research on acid, there was so much shit to read about that was deeper than just about the drug. Mm-hmm. From like the governmental experiments, mm-hmm. like all the other shit attached. Like, why is the government using this? What's going on? So that alone, when I read about PCP, that did not sound enjoyable. Like, <laughs> right. at all. Like, no, no. So I did my research, and that's what made me come to him comfortably. Like, also, I know this guy's not a nut. He's not crazy. Even though we're young, we're kids, we're gonna make mistakes. Like, I know yeah. he's not crazy. So when I did my research, I'm like, yeah, this is a spiritual thing, you know? A mind-altering drug um, and a spiritually enlightened drug is totally different from smoking K2. And, and, and it was getting all clean stuff. It wasn't <laughs> just from some <laughs> random person or a fan. Mm-hmm. It was all clean. Yeah, this person wouldn't have <laughs> given it to you if he wasn't, like... Um, Ready to take it yeah. in his, mm-hmm. from his perspective, at least. Word, sure, indeed. Yeah. Word. 
And like, you know, what a lot of people don't know too is like psychedelics were used by a lot of ancient civilizations. Exactly. Before my Ayahuasca, expansion. Ayahuasca, all types of things. Don't think these niggas yeah. eating these mushrooms on the ground? Collider pins. Yeah, like these, out, things, like these things come from the earth. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Somebody yeah. had to try them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, we it took balls, balls too. It comes from shit. So yeah. it took, oh, yeah. like, yo, exactly. you're gonna definitely on their mushrooms. You, you, you get a fucking High Times magazine and see an ad that says, grow your own mushrooms. You know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah, okay. It's everywhere. So, yo, like 25, about like 25 years later, since like y'all met for the most part, something like that. Like, mm -hmm. what made y'all stick together all these years? Because, like, we see, like, come on, we see juice. We seen these movies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we seen real, we seen real life shit too, though. Like you know, yeah. people fall out yeah. and shit like that. People grow apart. What made y'all like? What's 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 that glue for y'all? What made y'all mm. stick together all these years? I think for me, it's like I it's making music by myself for so long, knowing what that feels like. Especially yeah. for you, because you a solo artist, so you already know what that's like. It's like Facts. if shit go wrong, that's on you. Like if Facts. shit go right, that's on you. And it's like. To balance that every day, for me, it was something I always felt like a void. Like, and for me, it's like, these two niggas naturally had so much talent. It wasn't like, they was really all day working on it like me, but they just right. naturally had that shit, bro. Right. And like, for me, now that they my homies, it was like, to see that, I want to bring out the fullest potential of them, you know what I'm saying? And they deserve right. it. Especially right. if we all grew up together, it just meant to me mm -hmm. more than anything in the world, bro. It could be two other niggas, and I probably wouldn't have been here, to be honest with you, bro. Like, Word. Word. That's yeah. real shit. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't. I mean, I don't know. I just don't. I don't think about like yeah, ever about detaching. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even if I was upset at something, it's not like I gotta fucking leave forever, or you know what I mean. Like yeah. I just, I don't know. We're married. I don't know. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I, don't, I don't really like. Yeah, That's like true. I even seen the some shit we did with Elliot, and then I, I didn't even notice. I said that she said something about zombies. Are not y'all not breaking up, right? And I realized I said well, we, we can't break up. I don't even know what that means, but yeah. I just subconsciously like said that out loud. I don't even, it's my brothers, bro. Facts. Facts. Like, the, most, the most that could happen, like I always say, I love to say if I ain't have no hearing or if I had no voice, I would still be in the flat with zombies. But you see, that's what I love about y'all, man. Y'all so down for each other, man. Of course, like, man. I feel like that's really, okay, it's sentimental. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I feel like that's really what it is. It's like, it comes with, it comes with a certain level of maturity. It comes with a certain level of understanding and like mm -hmm. being on the same page with each other. And it's like, that's what you guys have. So I feel like you guys can never really fall out of touch with each other. Cause y'all guys, y'all got that solid foundation and that solid understanding. Yeah. At the end other. of the day too, I feel like, I don't know, the goal, when we make a goal, the victory feels just so much better when you know like you got somebody next to you. Facts. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, Big there's somebody facts. out there who had a number one record or like all the <coughs> shit in the world and then they're in a the house alone, in a big ass house, facts. or they got like that big check and they're like, who to call? Oh, to have anybody to call. Mm -hmm. Like, so I never got to worry about that shit. Like, that's that's why I'm happy, me and my friends. Even you, motherfucker, I told you about that the other day facts. when we was on the yacht, nigga. <laughs> when we was on the yacht. Hey. But I told you about that the other day. Like, when you win, I win, bro. Like, it doesn't <laughs> matter to me. Like, I just yeah. like to see my mans win, bro. That makes exactly. me feel no, good, bro. Bro, the feeling is everything. mutual, bro. bro that's everything. Like, even like, you know, I'm so glad that this time around, like I could actually be on the album, but even mm. if I wasn't, bro, it's like, y'all putting out albums still feels like me putting out an album. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's just how we, we ride. That's just how we connect. Yeah. It's, it's the Beast Coast shit. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Speaking of that, yo, when we going through this Beast Coast album, man, people waiting. I was waiting. I was waiting. Yeah, yeah, I was waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to put the pressure on the producers. Let's get into it. I'm going to put the pressure on the producers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now nah, we got to crack Kirk it. Knight Powers, yeah, yeah. Eric. Let's get it. It's our fault. It's our fault. Chuck Powers, <laughs> Chuck. Look, we got it all right, all right there. That's four people. Well, well, what are they else. doing? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wait till the producers give us the beats. I'm, yeah. I mean, look, we go in the studio after this. Yeah, we good. We, we gonna yeah. start it up. <laughs> we gonna, we gonna that start it up. This. We gonna get that ball, ball rolling. Ball rolling. Oh, and, and we gotta start on that Team Dark Skin, because he used to oh, let yeah, the man. cat out the bag. Wait, he said something? <laughs> he said something. I'm going on social media today. Man. <laughs> Fuck, man. He said something like yesterday. He said I was ready for that, All the blogs tweeted it. He said I was ready, man. Joey Badass. Michi Darko, he's a goal. Team Dark Skin Team in the works. <laughs> oh my God. Man, I Fuck, I wasn't ready, bro. <laughs> we gotta do it, man. That would be so dope, man. I'm ready for that tour, man. That that first tour was so fun. Bro. Bro, we talking about you, though, bro. <laughs> Legendary, you know fam. Bro, you were so young, bro. When I really look back, oh, I was man. looking back. Yo, bro, that's oh, so crazy. Oh. I was 17. Wow. 17, bro. Wow. Niggas got like, no face No, that's crazy. No, actually, I just, actually just turned 18. 
Facts too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Still, that shit is crazy. Early. Early. No facial hair. Yeah. I, I barely still got it. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was crazy. Yeah. That was no, fun as fuck. Was hardly any was wisdom. Was the whole country? <laughs> it was US. Yeah, yeah US. US. Bro, yeah. that was honestly like, that was... To this day, that's the best tour. We were sleeping in so uh, the Olive Garden. Yeah. 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 We were yeah. pushing that little like minivan. Y'all niggas really had mad people on the bus, bro. Yeah, we did. Damn. We did. Because we was used to that last yeah. tour. We was like, fuck, we could do it again. Yeah, man, 16 okay, niggas bro. deep yeah. <laughs> on the tour bus. <laughs> Some people ain't got no bus. Just feet, that was fun, yeah, bro. feet, yeah, all that. Shit. Shit. Everybody got sick on that <laughs> bus. Yeah, the funnest part is oh. niggas were so innocent. Like we didn't know, like yeah. we didn't know shit, shit. bro. Yeah. First time in Maddie's place is just like we didn't know what like lie to head. Right. Mm-hmm. And like it was a beauty in this. You know what I'm saying? It was and it was just like, yo, we here. All we know is that we just gonna kill this moment right now. Yeah. It was just about that, literally, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. even y'all, like y'all look way younger and shit. Oh, like, cool. you I looked at the video the other day. I'm like, God damn. I might have my pro. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is 2013. Yeah. Wow. Bro, that's a good, that's yeah. five years ago. Mm-hmm. Then the Crazy, end survival yeah. tactics come on. We all come yeah. over. Yeah, that was my favorite part. I went home missing that shit. That was. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Like, like, it felt weird. Like, yeah, like, the first, right. the first right. night without hearing that shit at the end is like, Damn, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. post tour depression after that shit for real. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> just know we we planning on it again, man. Like we know, just going let right, Josh. <laughs> he's not mic'd up. He's, he's not mic'd up anymore. Like, oh, <laughs> Yo, so let's get into some current events. Mm. Have we y- y'all seen the Black Panther movie? Yeah. Yo, I have not. You see it yet? Yeah, we was talking about it, actually. I you said you still need to see it. Black Hawk Revolt. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. I have not. Well, we gonna spoil, not spoil that shit. What y'all thought? What y'all thought about it? I fucked with it. Od. Yeah. I fucked with it. I thought it was um. Usually, I fall asleep for like five to ten minutes. You didn't fall any asleep? movie, I didn't fall asleep at all. So Damn. I said that was that any was wild. Movie. Nah, I'm yeah. with him on that. I don't Every time I've been to him, there's been a point where I'm just like, like a second, you just let it go. You yeah. look back and he's on the same shit. Like, <laughs> it's too dark. It's too dark and intimate. Yeah. And he had brain so like to sleep. Those niggas come out with a flashlight. Well, y'all niggas definitely can't go to no IP because y'all be up the whole shit. 3D is over for me. 3D. You like IP? You like IP? That's the only way I can watch. Do you like the Alamo or? The Alamo? Yeah. It's like I picked Alamo got too different. much rules, bro. Mm. You can't look at your phone. You can't call. Right, right. Can't talk. Nah, I like them what? both. Yeah, I, I can't say nothing. Yeah. I thought it was a yeah, good you movie, got though. You monitoring you and shit? You nah, that ass. <laughs> you yeah. can't come late. You can't even come one minute late. You can't come late. But y'all ain't spoiled the movie. Alamo doing too much. Y'all didn't spoil yeah. the movie, That's though. Um, why y'all didn't spoil the movie yet, though. What's y'all? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was you a good superhero spoil? movie, regardless if it was black or not. Mm-hmm. Word. You know? I know that shit is the number third highest grossing film in the U.S. Yo, it's big yeah. so, so what's in front of it? Yeah. Um, they Who's just like beat Titanic. Avatar? What's the... Avatar, Avatar? and... Yeah. That's interesting, too. Yeah. What's number one Think again? So. Avatar... It passed Star Wars, right? Yeah, this mad Star Wars though. Well, yeah. I guess so. Whichever one. I don't know, man. It's bourbon. I think it's Star Wars my. It's getting blurry. Yeah. But anyway, we got the number three. You know what I'm saying? Still counting. Nah, we going at number but, one, um, man. I ain't in the movie. We going at number one. But did y'all keep some of the messages? Like, you know, there's Bro. a lot of things. One of my right favorite there. parts oh, was yeah, yeah, um, yeah. not to spoil it. Uh, spoil that shit. Dude, it's like. Yeah. Anybody? I should have seen. I was the highest grossing. The detective, the um white dude, the detective, he was trying to talk, and then the homie was like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was like he, he couldn't talk at that moment. It yeah. felt so strong, like being a black person, yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's just like, like yo, you can't you speak in the moment of presence. You're not valid. Yeah. Like I thought that was dope. Word. That was one of my favorite parts. When, I don't know. When homie was in the um, in the museum mm-hmm. and he was telling the person mm-hmm. that yeah, like the museum too. about the art. Oh, he's like, yeah. how you don't know what have vibranium though. Yeah. And that's like yeah. it's a testament to our culture too, because it's like that nigga is paying to go see art, and he knew more about it than the niggas that worked there. Yeah, you know and then like how, how, how you put her on the spot for like stealing that shit. Right. It's yeah. like, your ancestors stole, stole this shit from right. my ancestors. So I'm gonna now. take it back. So I'm, I'm taking it back. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's the story of the whole movie yeah. is like, you kind of like I feel like there was a couple hidden messages in that shit though. A lot. You know what, what about the But what about the white Jesus? I was just about to say that. The white Jesus? The one the one white character in it? Sorry. No, oh, no, the detective. The, the, right? Yeah. The, the, the dude that's down with it. He's like, doesn't really have so. his he secret to, world in Africa. I mean, he had to. You know I wasn't mad at that. A lot of like, activists yeah. were mad at that shit. But no, I'm no, like, no, no, no. I'm not mad at that. No, I'm not mad at it. I just wanted to. You know what I heard about? I heard about this thing. You know what I said to the person? They sacrificed themselves. They came back. If that was a black person that sacrificed themselves, they would have been like, why don't the dark skin nigga sacrifice himself? No, bro, I was literally, yo, we was talking about that. It wouldn't matter. It was some shit about that. There's always going to be some shit. There's always going to be something. There's always going to be something. But I did peep that, though. You know what I'm saying? It was the white man who sacrificed himself 
for like literally in the movie. And then they brought the nigga best fire. Keep doing that, white people. Sacrifice yourself. Keep sacrificing yourself. If you learn one thing from black men, sacrifice yourself for this culture. I never seen that. But also like like kill killmonger is like to me like. He's Malcolm. Winter Soldier. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, I think that too. Shit. So they, they killed Malcolm, Malcolm, bro. They killed Malcolm. Bring him back to in life. The movie, in the way, you know what I mean? They I feel the same Malcolm. way, bro. And the Panthers a little bit. He's in Oakland. Yeah. Where the Wasn't Black it Panthers. Malcolm who killed himself, though? What do you not, mean? not in real life. I'm talking about in the movie. Like, Killmonger. Then he killed himself. He was like, y'all rather... Um, he, he said, oh, he bought himself. The cult. I don't remember. Um, what he no, it was deep what he said. I'd rather yeah, like, yeah. die oh. than be, oh. to be captured yeah, and enslaved like my, like my ancestors. Captain Bonnie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. it was deep. But it's like, yeah. but it's Malcolm. The movie depicts Malcolm coming back. Like, why y'all didn't come for us? Why yeah. y'all Africa? What are... So for me, knowing what I know about American history pre all this colonizer mm-hmm. shit, yeah. it's kind of deep because it's kind of throwing you off from that again. It's this mystical place right. in mm-hmm. Africa. You know what I mean? Some shit you can't deny. It's yeah. mystical. Yeah. Right? Which is dope. Yeah, mystical yeah, yeah, is dope. Yeah, yeah. But what if it's right here? You feel yeah, me? Because yeah. those roots go that far back here, right on the land we're standing. You feel uh-huh. me? I almost felt that it was modern, too, because no, definitely it almost, like, modern. deflected that. It was all, it reminded me of Bloods and Crips, too, because mm. they was all wearing different colors when they was all fighting each other on the hill. Mm, mm. I was like, damn, that's kind of crazy. And they all right. realized what the And it was a lot of black violence. Because the girls had black violence, right? It was like black on black violence. Black violence is what got Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, they got all this science, but they got still got, like, spirits. You know what I'm saying? Like. Hold up. Like, they they, have, they yeah. have no ordinary spirits, though. No, that's true. Yeah. But, <laughs> that's true. Still spirits. Niggas don't have no animals. That shit, niggas are riding no animals. Yeah. But yo, yeah. Yeah. Nonetheless, yeah. So, yeah. Little little animal. nonetheless, fucking love that movie. Yeah. Oh, it was I dope. No, I love that movie. I can't like, ultimately, ultimately, I think the main important thing is that everybody got to understand is like, everything that's really happening in culture and the world is gonna affect the kids most. Mm-hmm. And I love the effect that that's gonna have on the kids. No, I see now, it's like seeing those images. Yo, bro, oh, yeah. I told my pops this shit before, he was arguing with me about movies. He was like, um, when Birth of a Nation came out, and then I was, he was like, did you see it? I was like, honestly, I don't wanna see no, none of us slaves right now. He said, but it's our history. I'm like, I know it. I read the book though, bro. I just don't, 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 right, right. don't wanna right. see slaves. I don't even wanna see a nigga killing, killing motherfuckers. I don't wanna see any of that. And I was like, movies like Black Panther, I literally brought Black Panther like two years ago, like, yo, and this shit, movies like this is gonna change. He's like, he laughed at me, he was like, this is fictional, you need real history. Um, and when this shit came out, one of the main things that makes me smile is the thought of like, kids of all races wearing Black Panther costume mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in Halloween, and like, right. not caring about right. what Absolutely. the person's race is when they look up to right. something. I read comments as a Absolutely. kid. Absolutely, but, but like, you know, 95% not- of them characters is white, bro. Facts, yeah. exactly, but not even a single out. Like, <clears throat> I love the all races aspect, but, for the black race, it's like you got young kids who's growing up now and they're seeing like positive protagonists of course, in like bro. movie roles, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Things that they could kind of like look forward to. Mm-hmm. And even though it's fictional, it's still like well, such and a prove, and, But also proven to the corporate, like, yo, this makes crazy brand. Oh, they like, need that. No, 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 no. They nah. needed proof, though. They didn't in count the black dollar, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's why that was in such a shock. Ways, yeah. They didn't count the black dollar for that movie, Facts. bro. They did not. They thought that movie was going to be like $70 million. Like, every other. They didn't I like black they know black people are the biggest consumers, so be careful where we put our money, guys. Yo, yeah, not even money, our energy, bro. Yeah, I feel yeah, like, yeah, yeah. because, like, Absolutely. you know, I feel like that's another aspect about it, too, is, like, before I went to go see it, I feel like it was so hyped up. But I feel like it was only really so hyped up because it's, like, once we put our energy into something, like, as a group of people, oh, ain't nothing like it's nothing really nothing, that could be matched to it. Like, it's, like, too show. much energy, you know what I'm saying? So it's, like, that was definitely one aspect of it. But yeah. mm-hmm. all in all... I thought it was a great movie, man. Me Shout out to all the. Me too. I only yeah, seen it yeah, once, and look how all the shit that we remember. About I ain't seen that shit. That's how I know it's shit. Hold on. I want to say one thing. We've officially reached 47 minutes. Word. I knew it. Really? Bro. I knew it. 47 right. minutes? It's not long now. Oh, that's that's it. That, that shit flew. Yo, I know where it. that drawing at, B? <laughs> I'm oh, oh, that shit hard. You got trees there. You got trees there. It's there. It's there. almost there. Yeah, I need some trees. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, roll another I one up, just, man. I wanted to also say, like, I got this. He was saying he's tired of like Ooh. seeing slavery stuff, Ooh. and like for like the last yeah. two years, I was kind of tired of seeing people get fucking shot, like all those videos that got released of yeah. cops killing oh, yeah. dudes. Like, yeah. I, I don't want to see that shit yeah. anymore. Like it's, you it's know, it's terrible to like look at. You know what I mean? Like it's like uh, 
Lynch, Absolutely. people getting lynched, you know what I mean? Or, Absolutely. Or, 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 or people getting stoned. Bro, no, that's part of it too. And, and that's it's, part it's, of the brainwash it's, too. It's the brainwash. They make you comfortable. Yeah, they make you yeah. 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 comfortable. Yeah. 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 Comfortable yeah. with seeing us getting... Yeah. 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 Y
is he is even that's even scarier. Scarier, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's like at the too. same token, though, right? It's like I was raised like you know my dad take me to the shooting range, teach me how to shoot. Yeah. Like I know how to shoot at a young age, how to load a gun, handle guns. It's like not for nothing. It's like I'm pro gun, but I'm I'm not pro gun <clears throat> violence. Of course not. You know what I'm saying? Right, I'm, yeah. I'm like yeah, what right. you said. Like I'm I'm pro protecting. protecting yeah. Look, if you're gonna take my mm-hmm. guns away. We're gonna take everybody's guns. Exactly. Away. Like, We're gonna destroy Let's go every- to the UK, right? The thing, right. bro, we can't we can't destroy guns. I can go online and find a blueprint on how to make a 3D. gun. <laughs> and I can make a gun right now. Yeah. yeah that shit is Niggas crazy. in jail is making guns, bro. Facts. With magazines and paper and tape <laughs> and matches. I'll tell you how to make one right paper now. Gun. I ain't gonna tell you the rest. Niggas mm-hmm. making guns, bro. So a gun ain't nothing but a but a motherfucking object that shoots a metal charge at niggas. And you know so, what's yeah. so weird? Those like mass shootings that happened in the beginning, they were all like fake terrorist attacks. Now mm-hmm. they're like, what, what are they now? I don't even know what they call them anymore. Just mass shootings. Just mass, mass shootings. Mass shootings. Yeah, I don't know to think about it. Yeah. A lot of that, oh, be, lot oh, of that be set up. You know what else? I seen a picture the other day that was crazy. Yeah, man, there's a lot of conspiracy. You know what I seen a picture the other day that was crazy? You know these kids have the pla- the backpacks. You can see through the see through backpacks in some of these schools now, and these kids they're writing letters in the backpack like these backpacks are stupid and all this stuff. And I'm like, damn, these <laughs> kids don't know what it's like to be in a school where a nigga might kill you. Right. Well, you doing your you doing your work, and a nigga behind you might stab you in the back of your fucking head. Facts. And backpacks ain't stupid in some kids in fucking schools for some kids, bro. Exactly. So it just shows you the perspective of America. Like those those privileged kids are complaining about my like, fucking see through backpack. Meanwhile, there's some motherfuckers in the kid, schools who wish they had so. that shit. Like yeah. I wish you could see in this kid. Right. Especially the victims. Yeah. Especially, Especially the victims of the school. Wait, wasn't one of the first school shootings? Columbine, right? That's one like one of, first, of the earlier yeah, ones. One of the early ones I can remember. Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech. Yeah, yeah. That one shit. Yeah. Columbine was high school. Virginia Tech right? was after Columbine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, way yeah. after. Columbine yeah. was a high school. I remember being like eight, nine, and like going on the internet. Yeah. Nah, I was older than that, like 11, 12, 13, some shit. And like just searching the web and like looking that shit yeah. up and seeing that. The Columbine shit? shit? Yeah. Nah, no, they, 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 they were. Yeah. But that's why people need, feel like they need to protect. But my thing is. It should not be that easy for it really should it still baffles me that I mean that first easy. of all it's like all right let's let's start with you this get right evaluated. we're drinking liquor right okay why is why can you purchase firearms at 18 and you can't purchase like it doesn't make any sense this, it doesn't this, but yeah, in new york city substance. where we uh, reside you can't really do that what? so is it only happening in like the places where no no, the no but are? this this is a new thing yeah and i'm and shout out to new york city for doing that except for the fact that you couldn't buy fucking tobacco products yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know shout out to new york city for that but this is very new mm-hmm. this is very new and it's like why don't we translate that into the gun laws yeah. and you know back to what you're saying like even back to the fucking police it's like any everyone needs to be properly evaluated First of all, there needs to be annually. Yeah, right. Annually. annually. No, no, no. How about this? Quarterly, bro. Let's get it, bro. Yeah. Somebody, somebody can, shouldn't be able to do it for twenty years, neither. Like, too, too, much stress, too much stress. Too much stress. Ten years. That's it. It's like job. Job. It's like this position. Shit happens every day, right? You know what I'm saying? Somebody fucking lose their best friend, and he happens to be a cop, or he mm-hmm. loses fucking loses fucking dog, or some shit. Mm-hmm. That shit. Whatever to put you on edge, edge whatever yeah. to change the balance in your body, you need to be repeatedly analyzed Evaluated. over that shit. Evaluate. Right. Exactly. Ain't Absolutely. no reason why niggas Especially have AR-15s with without getting psyched fucking analyzed, bro. Exactly. That shit is crazy to me. That motherfucker just go have the bread and blood. Let me get that gun with the scope and the silence. And let me get the perch too, so I can sit. Oh, let me get the grass to put over me too, so I can lay in the grass and shoot a nigga. Fuck it. And the camo to go with the tree in the back. I don't mm-hmm. make no fucking sense, bro. No There's sense. There's more. They, they make more bullets than we have. We have people. It makes sense when you see the agenda though of like money and power and making people fight. Like mm-hmm. the more people fight, the more the machine goes. Yep. What they have in place. Yeah. You yep. know, war is big business. Yeah. The biggest war is this, this one they're one. trying to build. Right. It's not really working though. If you see, they're kind of late. They, yeah. they, they, they don't really I have what they wanted by now. Yeah. Yo, there was like a stat sheet that said like, and this is probably not the exact number, but it was like forty-seven to fifty percent. Like the U.S. has 47 to 50 percent of all the guns in the world. It's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Makes sense. Wow. It does, but it it's crazy. Sense. That's crazy. Wow. But it shows you that they're arming people. Handguns, for a war. I, th- I believe it was. Oh yeah, we're arming people. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, Pretty yeah. soon we're gonna have to worry about biological weapons. No, we're already working. They got those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's chemical warfare out yeah. here. Even the weed is GMO now, Finn. You know, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm scared of. It's, a lot of people was mad at me for saying yeah. it. You yeah. know? I, I said it too. Like, yeah, I said it too, man. I said it too. This ain't the same shit was smoking in the 70s. Oh, oh, where no, you getting no, it from? They ain't even said that I was smoking. I was from famous Brooklyn weed spots. 
This like back different. in the day, this Franklin and Dean, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Shout out fucking Bergen and I did him out this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. But that this is not that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> OG disclaimer, only the OG's gonna get them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Old heads. I mentioned that same shit, people was mad at me. I was like, it's the truth. Bro. <laughs> I, that's why they, that's why I, I, tax it. That's why it's legal. I told people like I, I stopped smoking weed. Why was that world news? Yo, bro, some kid came up to me, man. Was like, how do you feel about Joey? Stop smoking weed. I said, give a fuck. Nigga, worry about yourself. Nigga. Yeah, give a yeah, fuck. Man. What do you he's mean? Like, how, the, how the fuck you feel? Yo, and he's like, his buddy's drinking liquor, and I'm like, so, nigga. Yeah, like that's the truth. Like, nigga, you know how much crazy niggas smoke weed. <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about right now? First of all, first of all I was already drinking liquor when I, when I was smoking weed. What the fuck are you talking about? It's like, is, it's like, like, switch like, it's like a Caribbean. It's like in our roots, bro. Exactly. We've we, we been, we been, we been bleeding true. alcohol longer it's than y'all know, bro. Facts. really <laughs> ask me how I feel, bro. Like Not advocating it, though. But, you know. But still, at the same time, it shouldn't. Something like that shouldn't be like, why, did, why does he feel like that changes What's that? What is that changing? Is it, do you still like the music? You still yeah. liking what you're getting? So what the fuck does that even matter? And bro? maybe pay attention real quick. Like yeah. maybe there's a message. I ain't gonna lie. I, I almost wish I ain't tell niggas I stopped smoking weed. That's why <laughs> like, we did. We did you know what I'm saying? One, I ain't tell niggas so after, bro. Yeah. Like after like, I, I, like, I didn't smoke the whole time. Did that album because, because, probably so because it's like yo, because niggas are coming to you like I know you were stoned when you wrote this, bro. And I was like, no, I wasn't, nigga. I was actually dead sober. Exactly. But it's like, yo, not for nothing. It's like, even though I stopped, I still, like, want my niggas to smoke around me. Because I just love the smell. Be like, oh, my God. <laughs> yo, ask them. I'll be like, yo, roll That's up. That's, <laughs> That's like my incense, like, right now. Like, we all high bro, I haven't smoked like, like, weed in, like, four months. Good, and all of this right here, I'm loving it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just get to sit right in between. Y'all niggas getting high for me and shit. I feel like Eric. <laughs> <laughs> yo, so back to the gun shit, though. Did y'all see the... The Killer Mike versus like I didn't N- get too deep into Angel. it because I feel like uh, most of the stuff that I would be reading they'll be throwing it out of proportion way too much. Yeah, and I didn't really that's like. Why, yeah. I, I just get a went chance to look for the interview. Yeah, itself. I need to get to that part. That's what I, yeah, I, I want to say. This is what happened. But, yeah. but something on it is just to me like without the interview, it's a little bit like. If, if you kind of thought that the NRA wasn't gonna try to pupperize you on some puppet shit, like. Come yeah. on, mate. You know what I mean? Like you knew they were gonna yeah, use Killer Mike, the rap guy. In their His name way. is Killer Mike, bro. You know what you I'm really saying? Think they, about they, it too. They, you know, mm. so that's, yeah, if you read NRA, think about it in this context. Because he never, had mad points that were valid. I've never heard of like, like, and, like, and not for nothing, he's like the stereotypical black guy image. I was scared right, guy. Right. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But like, on top of this, if you never heard of him ever, right, and you just read this article, hmm, rapper Killer Mike, right. NRA, and it's like guns. Exactly. The nigga's name is Killer Mike. Exactly. So like, even if you never heard about him, yeah. It doesn't doesn't even look. Where was the NRA where they shot the man Castillo? Yeah. And, you know what I mean? He was right. NRA. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The one that mm-hmm. got shot on Facebook or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, where were they like, like, you know, defending him? All like, of these companies. They twist the name. They're going to twist your you guys, you guys know that all these companies are like going to a corporation that's called ALEC, the American Legislative mm-hmm. Executive Corporation, I believe the C stands for. Mm-hmm. But they basically write the laws to give to Congress. <clears throat> so. Companies like the NRA, companies like Walmart, blah, 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 blah. They're all in bed with the Alec niggas. Yeah. Because then they fund them, and then they get them to write the laws that they need. Mm -hmm. That's why you can buy a gun at 18. That's why you can do this. That's why why you can can own an AR-15 before you can own a handgun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it it benefits these companies. Mm -hmm. They make money off of it. They, Mm -hmm. They profit off of that shit. The more you know. <laughs> but you know what's trash, you know. though, is that you're not the only person who's probably saying this and who said this on a platform this large and nothing happens. For a year, since I've been a kid, Rasta niggas been telling me all the same conspiracy shit. Mm-hmm. All the same shit we're talking about now. Ain't ain't nothing changed, bro. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Fact. I'm still trying to figure out what. You know what it what is? Technology. Who's technology. gonna be the nigga? Who's technology gonna really be the nigga to throw the shit. stone that's gonna really shatter the fucking oh shit. This shit is not real. Bro. Who's gonna be the real Truman bro, show nigga to break out? Yeah, you know what it is? Yeah, yeah. Until right. we have like a fucking like Mansa Musa type of cat, that's like it's not gonna happen. Mm. Because it's really the money that gets in the way of all of this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's really the bread, bro. He gave out so much money, he changed the economy in, yeah. that, in that part of the it's world. It's the bread that runs it all. <laughs> Even back to this yeah. Alex shit, it's like, yo, these companies are funding these people. These companies are the reason why Alex exists. Right. You know what I'm Agendas. saying? Yeah. New world agendas. Right. 
Yeah. How many money? Is bro, power, 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 power. Bigger yeah. than bread. Yeah, but bro, yeah. this shit is just numbers. It's not even real at this Facts. point. When Facts. you get to like five trillion. No, but trillion. they've made it real. That's the thing. It's like, we so, we, we already what do you right, like, What is five trillion? It. I tell me what five trillion look like. <laughs> right. What the fuck is five trillion? What do you do? What do, what do you get to these numbers, nigga? It doesn't even make sense. You're just printing money. Agreed. It doesn't yeah. make any sense, bro. No, absolutely. Agreed. I think niggas should just stop working, stop spending, stop doing all that. Just mm. say we're done. Yeah, but it's Take like niggas don't know store. agriculture, though. Take your money right, off. right away. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we need to learn. That's yeah, why we tell yeah. niggas about charity. I be like, you know, that's my problem with charity. Because I ain't gonna lie. I, I, you don't yo, know how to grow nine. Nigga, nigga I'm, I'm having a hard time keeping this <laughs> shit alive. I'm one of those I'm gonna take my banana. I be on my counter yeah, shit like, I love you. Like, I be telling this shit, don't be working. Like, give us all the sunlight. Water it, man. All the sunlight it needs. Spray bottle, though. Oh, I got spray the leaves. Oh, I talked to I just learned something new. Playing some nice music. Cut off the yellow parts so they regrow and shit. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts? Yeah. Okay, say that. Say that. Throw some man. like little weed seeds in there just, just in case you want to grow a little cush, little yeah. cush plant too. I mean, I can't do it now because, you know. My bad. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Feel you. So, let's, yo. Let's talk about the big subject. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is hip hop, you mm-hmm. know? So, let, let's just go right into it, right? What's your take on the state of New York hip hop? Better yet, what is what do y'all feel about all this King of New York talk? Mm. Mm. I mean, if you want to be the king, fine. I mean, a lot of responsibility. Gotta it feed don't be you. nothing to us. I mean, we live it. Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm in a group, so I mean, like, unless the crown is big enough to fit fucking three heads, yeah. I don't really care about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I just feel like, bro, we all kings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, we live. Uh, so we right. live. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I feel yeah. like in every generation, like even in our generation and the past generations, there were always multiple kings. Like, what you gonna say? Jay Z, Big and Nas are not kings. Mm-hmm. Gonna say Rock Kim, KRS One, exactly. not kings. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Just the same way, zombies, Joey, whoever the fuck mm-hmm. is kings too. Mm-hmm. If we putting on for the city, you're a king. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's my whole take on it. Oh, okay. Like, a lot of it is just for entertainment. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's, it's press, it's 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 press it's the press, bro. It's the press. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. king thing always pressed it, struck a nerve with people. Like, it always did. It's an easy thing to Because you know why? Especially with New Yorkers, it's like, I feel like we're so based upon, like, ego. Mm-hmm. It's like, we all grew up, like, wanting to be the best. Machismo. Or, or having always. our block be the best. Always. Or having our hood be it's the best. Yesterday. It's like, yo, we never even had unity in Brooklyn. Yeah. Right. It's like... Fuck y'all flatbush niggas, we from Best Star. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Never even had. Finally, it's, it's, it's true. It's finally, I was hoping it was changing. Yeah. You know, we we're trying to change this shit. Hopefully, like, I don't think things like that even make a real divide. I think niggas that know, know. And, like, you ain't really a king unless you're really affecting people. That's what a real king you know, yeah. is. Yeah. It's about affecting but people. But it's like, yo, I don't think anybody should feel like they're not a king. Course, you know what right. I'm saying? It's like, yo, you you putting on for your city, you giving to your people, you 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 giving people hope out here from where you came from. You're a king, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but don't try to shit on everybody you else. Can't shit on everybody else. Yeah, yeah you know nah. what I'm saying? It's like, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Really really and, 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 and if you do want to shit on somebody, especially if you couldn't be there without the people that but like you, you know, said, we came right. before you. We're king for different things, so it's like, yeah, I'm fine with a nigga being like he the king of like you could be the king of New York. That's fine. But like, are you the king of New York? That do you do you are you king rapper of New York? Or That's you what I'm king saying. Lyricist? Right. right. If you are say you're the king, 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 king of New York, exactly. are you gonna battle? Can open up? Keep just thinking. Not gonna keep your crowd. What are you doing? What are you doing with it? That's what I mean. Like, what and what is what? What's the so? How do I can? How do I get to this? What's the route to get to this crown? Like, what's going on? What's the qualifications? How do we compete for this? Are we talking charts? Yeah, That's that's what it is to me. Because then if it's about that, give the specifics. You, I guarantee won't last long because these specifics right now with stats, records get broken every but day. But then it's like, it's like honestly though, at the end of the day, it's like fuck all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because like ever since all that talk man happened, it's like mad people hit me like, yo, Joey, you the real king of blah, blah, blah. It's yeah, like, I could give a fuck about that shit. It's like, yo, it's not doing nothing to me. And one, it's like, yo, why is it only New York that got this problem? I was yo, gonna say that. You don't see, there's, there's so many niggas in LA. It's the home. I'm gonna settle this right now. No, no, it's the home of the whole culture for sure. We get that. But it's like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie. For for like 
The last couple of years is like, you know, and this is an arguable thing for sure, and I'm gonna say this as a New York cat, but it's like, Atlanta and LA been giving niggas work. Work. Big work. Big and you don't see none that. of these two regions talking about, oh, I'm the king work. of LA, <clears throat> or I'm the king work. of Atlanta, or you I'll never see forget. that. I, y'all probably remember this too, when Kendrick Lamar was, was coming out, the game, Snoop Dogg. And they crowned him. They, 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 they gave him the, they, they passed him the, the, the torch. That never happened why, in New York. Why do you think that is though? Bro, like, because they just, mm. I don't know, man. Like, honestly, I don't know. But what, what I can't just say, just based on opinions, just like they got a different type of understanding and like unity aspect out there. Mm. I don't really know what it is. I don't know if it's because we're so compact snow, in New York snows, and everybody on top snows. of each other. Nah, it's just like, yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah. Like, ask you for a cigarette all the time. Yeah, it's just yeah. like, <laughs> yo, in New York, we're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yo, you yeah, know what I'm saying? You fighting for your own, like, yeah. elbow room. Corner, but out there, it's like, it's all space style. It's like a little chill. You got space to really think. Nah, that ain't true, though, because these niggas be making music with niggas who cousin kill cousins and sex. Maybe because it's the gang culture. They be getting past that, bro. That's what I'm saying, though. That's what I'm saying. It could be past that. Yeah, you know, it's some, it's some, fu- it's some, it's some fucking stupid shit. I don't know what it is. It's some, and I hate generational. I really think that something happened in like the two, early two thousands. Yeah. Where niggas stop having respect, Fifty Cent, and niggas want to follow that Fifty Cent route and just diss niggas and not have respect. And not everybody can do that shit. Right. I'm not ever gonna blame it on him. Niggas like to blame it on him. I think that kind of shit. Made New York, or like there was a time where yo, if you like Dipset, there was, how much time we was in school? You like Dipset or, or G Unit? And it's like, no, I, I, I like both. Right, oh, yeah. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Right, yeah. That Biggie or Pac, that that Dipset or yeah. this, that or people love that go on that that go on here. Whereas you go somewhere else, and nigga gonna be like, what you want to hear right now? You want to hear some tip, or you want to hear some outcast? Quote me if I'm wrong, but I don't think DMX or Jay Z ever was like, yo, I'm the king of this shit. But they were both. Battling with each other, you know what I mean? Internal. I mean, that's, Jay, that's, that's Jay and Nas was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. 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 That was the first one. 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 That was the cool because they were battling. And that was that's for the like, king of New battling. York. That's what I mean. That was for something. Oh, we're going to do this for that. Mm-hmm. That was for the crown. Right. That was literally, yo. We have to qualify for something. We're going to go track for track. Mm-hmm. And nigga didn't just come out and say, I'm the king. That's it. Flags down. I mean, they also had real money. issues, too. And it wasn't about, right. oh, my, my song was charting your song. Or that I had yeah, yeah, yeah. this much bodyguards. You, you know what I mean? It, it was about, it's about credibility and right. just like And then what are you even respect. competing for anymore? Because it's like, well, if it's ticket sales, that's one thing. Like you were saying earlier. Is it, yeah. is it followers on Twitter? What is it? Like, or if it's that it bag, then what is what it? What is yeah, the bag? Yeah, like It's like... Yeah. I think niggas just want to win and it's like you're not even like trying to do what it takes to win like winners and shit work hard and shit but like you're trying to skip all that and just say that you're the best that's Plus, me teamwork not the way always is the way you know what I'm saying yeah, that's how you win bro yeah no yeah. cause in the early days of like hip hop forts on radio and all that shit like in all the events like they're all everyone from New York is there unless they're on the road like you go to this show you, the Tribe Called Quest those guys are in the crowd these guys are in Jungle Brothers you know, uh, somebody from Harlem, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, yeah. it used to just be yeah. more. And now it's just. They all me. knew each other. Like, you know Mine. what I mean? I mean, to the point where even like me. Biggie, Buster, yeah. Jay, they all go to high school in Brooklyn. You know mm-hmm. what I'm trying to say? And later yeah. on. Niggas look. forget who they get influenced by and shit, bro. Facts. That's all. That's a big facet. It feels like an agenda. It's 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 like an agenda. It feels like an agenda to divide. Like that Ben going on. Nah, paying homage became... So, corny today. Yeah, it became like, corny or some shit. But show, that's bro. corny. Nah, nah, it's real shit. shit even, yeah, I feel that. Like. I said this a thousand times in these last two months. Soon becoming a real hip hop head is going to be corny. Paying homage to like respect to older niggas is going to be corny. It's like acting like... You, you're the first nigga to do some shit. Like when someone mentioned heads on us, um, I was just like, nah. Someone definitely made a song paying homage and referencing other hip hop songs. Yeah, the Tupac, Tupac made a song, and nice. before Tupac, somebody else made a song. Sure. Like it's always gonna, it's always gonna be like that. But niggas now will make an idea and act like they're the first one. And even if you thought you're the first one, you're not, nigga. You're not, nigga. Nothing new under the sun. Nothing, song. nigga. No, oh, trust right me, dog. It's out there. Nothing it's you do, bro. Nothing. I think that's really the problem, bro. Niggas is scared because they scared if they admit that. Fans are gonna take it too far because fans do. Sometimes niggas be asking, "What do you listen to?" I don't tell them, bro, because a nigga will go listen. Oh, you listen to Elton John? I knew it. Well, you sung here and you did this note, and it's like, nigga, that ain't from Elton. I didn't yeah. think that because I'm me, and that's why I think niggas don't tell their influences because they get scared of like, damn, if, like I did, boxed in. if I did say yeah. I listen to Joey Badass, niggas gonna think I'm copying Joey Badass. So is it like not cool to be like hip hop 
I, I, I think it's like, not. Bro, I don't think it's like, it's shame. Like, it's shame. Like, oh, like, nah, it's, it's not fake, that it's man. shame. It's, it's, it's just, just like, it's fake. It, with this new generation, it's just like, oh, it's played out or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That that's hip hop is the most popular music in the fucking world. It is gonna be hip hop. They're just faking it, bro. What's gonna happen? Is she gonna turn to pop, my nigga? It is pop. It is pop. Nah, but right now it's pop. It could get back out. If it stay pop, it's over, bro. Cause it's gonna lose the rebelliousness. Bro, it's not going backwards. It, it, we're gonna make it go backwards, nigga. Hip hop going is the biggest genre in the world. It ain't place. backwards yeah. though. Let me rephrase take that. We ain't never gonna place. go backwards. Yeah. We're gonna make a le- we're gonna make the right turn. No, for me. Yeah, we're gonna figure that out. We never gonna we go backwards. We gonna make the right turn. <laughs> like if this shit turns into pop, like fully, because it's all about the numbers, the charts. That's not what it's about. Like we were just talking about that today. What about yo, who makes the best song? Right. That's what, what I'm the saying. fuck happened to you? About, this nigga song is fire, bro. Who cares? What happened to like, don't exist the no numbers? More. Why would the numbers don't that matter? That's defined bro. by numbers. It don't Back matter, then, nigga. Listen, nigga, listen to the radio, nigga. I didn't know how much streams and money, power, respect got. It was fire, nigga. Yeah, like, that's I don't a word. Know. Fact, word. Bro. Like, word. That's a fact. Word. look up your fact. metrics. Clearly, this is not more fire than this because this right. is more plays. And then, and then, hey, then, 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 then now they're the they they the they they <laughs> so they're gonna try to. Now you can see all the metrics. They're gonna try to tell you why you don't connect, why you don't do this. Yeah, and it's bro, like well, that, that should be corny, bro. Just, you bro. just, you just didn't click it. That's be all it means. You didn't like, click it. That's it. I remember like just going back in time a little bit. Like I remember when I was coming out with my first album before the money, right? And my first single was Big Dusty. And I remember bringing that shit to Hot 97 and like Rosenberg and Ebro. And that's like why we. That's really why we even got cool was because of that whole thing that happened. You know what I'm saying? And they they try to tell me it's a B side, mm. and I had to argue to death to these niggas like, why why is why it a B side? Yeah. It's whatever we want it to be. It's yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it, bro. When literally about? any song that comes out, as long as the radio plays it over and over, is it? Yeah, facts. That's really all it is. Right. So you could take this any <laughs> boom <laughs> bap or this make you classic that, hip hop. Hot nigga, hot yeah. nigga came yeah. out. He said, Ebro said the same thing when Hot Nigga came out in the beginning, and he had no choice but to play it. That song is the weirdest structured song ever, and he had no choice but to there's play no, it. Nigga. No, there's no, there's no there's chorus. No, there's no chorus. Yeah. No chorus. Yeah. And everybody who talked no shit way. had no choice because it became the hottest song. Now it's your favorite record. So it's all bullshit. There's Facts. no right or wrong to music. We gotta Facts. stop. That shit gets me tight, bro. We bro. gotta stop that as a whole. Like, Absolutely. That's the worst bro. thing about what's going on. Only in hip hop. Only it's these only motherfuckers hip-hop. like these. Program directors, these radio niggas, like they always just want to play shit safe. Mm-hmm. But then they do this shit backwards because some shit will blow up on the internet, and then eight months later, now you want to dick rock right. the shit. Right. Too, when, when, when it first came and through, you always wasn't fucking with it. You yeah. Yeah. Fucking you with it. Yeah. yeah, it's always that. No, it's it's like, yo, yeah, do, they, do, they, do they not believe you know, in breaking records no anymore? No real tastemakers no more, bro. Bro, like recipes, yams, yo, recipes, ASAP yams. It's really no real tastemakers, like. There's rarely real tastemakers that's like, all right, this is legit fire. And like, they can hear something from from it being raw, nigga, and be like, all right, this is a record. This, this, niggas now, they don't know, nigga. They go and see how much views this shit got, bro. Right. And that and view shit did. don't mean nothing, don't bro. Because niggas, no, niggas don't be selling no. Stop looking at these metrics, Niggas don't be selling no tickets, no physical copies. This shit dead ass, take that shit off the internet. Like, you shouldn't be able to look at how much play something got unless you posted the video yourself. Yeah, you signed it. You signed it. I love that. I love that. Too. My video, I posted it. It should be. You should be able to look at his metrics. That would be dope. That would be dope. Then when a company step to you, you could be like, yo, this is my metrics, Joey. This is my shit. I shouldn't know how much this shit is. I love that. Why do I need to know that? Because then it's like, maybe that you know will make... Also, yeah, and you know? it also makes a nigga like, oh, he's doing this. This works. Right. That's Let me saying. get the money with the phone. Oh, that works for this guy. Right. right. Mm-hmm. When you don't see the numbers, you're like, damn. You generally gravitate to something because you like it. Because you yeah. like it. Yeah. Now, yeah. niggas, it's a shame. And it's it's fucked up because, like, even growing up, nigga, we listen to shit, niggas like, that's white boy music. Mm. Nigga making fun of me drawing. Facts. I'm like, you know that graffiti is part of hip hop, nigga. How you gonna make nah, fun of me drawing? Not anymore. Nigga? What you talking That's about, what I'm saying. It's not like, anymore. It's just rap what you now. About? Not anymore. That's that what they trying to do. That's some new shit though. They just kind of figured out the formula of like in the corporate, the higher level of agendas. They just kind of figured out hip hop in the mm-hmm. last five years. You this whole time that shit. they was like, yo, I'm a kid in high school, and they're like, it's a fad. It'll never last. It won't get out of New York. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm in the wow. arguing. Like, what do you mean? They're like, it's not music. I'm like, what do you mean? It's not music. You know what I mean? Like, and I just was knew it already. Like, it's going. It's going. You're crazy. Like, when do you say you're crazy? Like, this is it. You know what I mean? So it seems like now there's a divide to make hip hop seem like what they got going now, which is like, be drugged out, be linked out, be some sort of epic life mm-hmm. and that's hip hop right is that what I because that's what I see they going like and they just kind of figured that out so 
It's an agenda. We see certain things rise because of agendas. And who knows about them numbers? It's like cryptocurrency, right? Yeah. yeah. Who knows what they're doing with the numbers? Like, yeah, yeah oh, he has a hundred million. I just million. He's paying what for MySpace about? plays. Don't forget that. Right. Oh, my so, for sure. One, one I know I'm, a lot of niggas out here playing for, paying for YouTube followers, views right? and shit. Yeah. YouTube comments. Yeah. 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 YouTube comments. Yeah. Come on, YouTube man. comments. One, one thing I want to say, though, like on this, while we have a chance to say this, that's crazy. All this shit when you see a new record getting broken, man, you know what just hurts my heart when it's like, these records ain't real records, bro. Like, 50 Cent sold 12 million physical niggas went to the store, 12 million people. Like, no disrespect to anybody right now, but if you did 12 million, it's because of streaming. Right. The Beatles didn't have no, streaming. absolutely. Michael Jackson didn't have streaming. Absolutely. Prince, Prince the Prince niggas didn't have streaming. There's actual people yeah. going yeah. and buying like, like, records. Like, so get, like, get that shit the fuck out of it. Like, they need to fix that system. Let's get that shit out of here. Like, oh well, if no one goes gold and platinum anymore, so be it. Oh well. I mean, I That's would say it, this though. They I gotta make something energy, new. You know, they gotta make something new, bro. I do think they fucking niggas. No, 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 no. True, true, true. They be, they be, they be, they be, you know. Every day they be record, bro. I would say this though. I would say this though. I do fuck with streaming for the simple fact. I love streaming. Me too. That is like. Before in the past, it's like, yeah, I could buy that Michael Jackson album, but he won't get compensated for every time that I listen to it. No, no, I'm not mad and at I listen streaming. to it on a daily. I'm you not know mad what I'm at saying now bro. I could buy that right. album and he could get compensated for every time that I listen to that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, no, I'm not I'm mad into at, that. I'm not mad at but though. the race but could be better, obviously. Yeah. Fucking mm-hmm. numbers and all of that shit. I don't force people to buy it just and stop streaming. And then, I mean, well, what is streaming exactly? When you play it or just... just yeah, just play it. Just play play it. This is why it's scary, it's 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 why it's scary it. to me, bro. If they eliminate tangible, physical copies, bro, it's over with music. A nigga could go back and say, damn, my verse is whack. Let me change this. A nigga could literally delete. A nigga from the computer, Apple, could say, fuck Michael Jackson. I hate him. Delete. No more Michael Jackson. No, no, no. Right. We were just talking about this the That's other day. Scary. Bro. We were just yo, saying that shit. Yo, the what? internet, it could be a massive blackout right nobody now. Got and nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody got nobody music. Got I'm not. Ridiculous. Fuck y'all niggas. That's I'm, insane. I'm making my physical huh? always dangerous. dangerous. That's, That's crazy. crazy. That's dangerous. dangerous. You could go on that, bro. Music is one of the, the, the most powerful forces on this earth, right. in the world, it's maybe the in the universe. the universe, who knows it's the sound of other fucking get, get places got panels, music. Get those solar panels, get those CD players and those vinyl players. Yes. Yes. Solar panels, right? Right. That's why they want you to get gassed off them streaming records. That's, that's why they want it because you buying them physical. Bro, that's crazy, bro. bro. That's just another level of control, bro. Dad. Imagine they take away music. Nigga, it'll be nothing. What we say in the RPC? Bro, it's chaos, bro. It's war. Yo, you know, music is such a therapeutic thing for people. Without music, we'll be sitting here like, yo, remember Juicy? Remember that song? We can't no. hear it no more. How's it going? Go how's that shit going? Oh shit, we forgot <laughs> it. We like, over, bro. bro. Fuck that, we're nah. on the streets fucking purging. They be warm. <laughs> yeah, they be warm. They be riding. They be purged, bro. They be riding. There's no nah, that's, music, that's my the biggest fuck? Fear, bro. It's crazy because my mom's introduced music to me on vinyl, right? Think about this, and this fucked me up the day I was thinking about it, right? No matter, even iTunes, they tell you how much times you play this song, right? Yeah. Say they play uh, Thug Waffle 80,000 times, right? It'll keep about playing. If that was on a vinyl in the 60s, by the time you play that shit 80,000 times, that record, much like anything else, a basketball that you dribble, <laughs> is gonna, it's yeah. gonna change, yeah. you feel mm-hmm. me? So music is never gonna change ever because it's digital, which is weird as fuck to me because you play a vinyl, you say, oh, tape. damn, let me flip it over. This part, I gotta, I gotta do some extra shit because it skips right here because I play mm-hmm. it so much. And guess what? I go buy another one, you feel me? Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. done, nigga. You buy that shit one time, it's infinitely gonna stay. That means that you're not... There's no replenishing of the music. It's just mm-hmm. like, I can just do what I want. And not only that, you can skip through a nigga's whole life. Lord knows how long it take you to make music, for us to make music. Niggas can skip through your whole shit in like seconds. Like, at nice. least a vinyl, you have to put your needle there. Yeah. You have to find take it, you gotta time, back you up. To know, you gotta, like a, yeah. Think about how we adjust music. And that was only 40, 50 years ago, bro. So you're telling mm. me the future of music is to be ingested like this? What, like? You pouring your soul out, and that's how niggas gonna ingest mm-hmm. A link, bro. Oh, I said, oh, <laughs> a link, yo. You, you work mad hard to put a nigga looking at a link. Like, it's about tape. I'm look at this later. Right. It's about tape, man. Bro. Look at this later. I'm a favorite. Look Blood, sweat, and tears in a link, bro. That shit is crazy. That shit is crazy, bro. Because they used to say. Not even a they, physical representation. They used to say when you get the record, like when you buy a Marvin Gaye record, mm-hmm. you're getting a piece of Marvin Gaye's yeah. soul that he real, etched bro. on that shit. Because be, think about a record. You ever look at it in a microscope? It looks like the waves we see in Pro Tools, yeah, you right. feel me? Mm-hmm. So this is them doing that real, then, bro. you feel me? Yeah. And back in the early days, it's literally like, okay, y'all ready? 
He's gonna drop the needle drop when y'all ready. Boom, oh. y'all go. Yeah, y'all gotta be perfect. Perfect, <laughs> man. That's hell. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's we, how we, we doing. Start, we doing right. takes. Hey, look at the honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. We doing stacking the vocals what? and shit. Have no have no stacking the vocals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better have mic. Three niggas that sound like jokes. Three niggas that sound like Mitch. Four Eric's. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Crazy, man. The whole band and everything. So one nigga fuck up, you fuck up the whole recording. Oh, and they're looking at you like, are you serious? Get out of here. Get out of here. Bye. James James Brown used to charge if it's any of his band members oh, yeah, fucked heard, up, it was like five dollars or oh, something. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Five five on stage. Five dollars yeah, deduction. That's, wow. that's on stage. Yeah. He be doing yeah. dance moves, and if you watch certain footage, he says things like he'll call a name, which is one of the got band members mm-hmm. that fucked up, and be like, you know, like Warren, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> <laughs> like, and that's a fine. That's twenty dollars or some shit. Yeah. 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 Don't wow. fuck up, yo. This thing was always like, Whoa. watch me on stage. You don't fucking look at nothing else. I look at you. me. Yeah. Play your part and watch when I change shit up. Cause I'm changing it when I don't feel like it. Mm-hmm. That's how his band was. They he. Da, 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 they go into this. He'll turn right around, tell him to do something else. It was like mm-hmm. mixtape kind of like yeah. early. I think it was the first okay. rapper. For sure. Drummer. First B-Boy. First B-Boy, bro. Sure. Had his record yeah. company, yeah. all that shit. Bro. You feel James me? James Brown. Airplane. 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 You feel me? Touch the mic, bro. Yeah. He and was it's so crazy because he, he, he didn't really right. start getting into that real James Brown shit that we know him as until like... The latter days of his career, yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is crazy. And hip hop, yo, hip hop resurrected James, James Brown. Brown. Yeah. Nobody was bro. in the eighties. Nobody was talking about no James Brown. Yeah. And then the, the, every band, all, all, all the breaks, all the breaks, bro. The ill classics come yeah. out with those records, and everyone's like, "Where's those James Brown records?" But you couldn't, even sell, you couldn't even sell a JB's vinyl back in the seventies when he was making all them shits, like a, the instrumental albums of his band. Mm-hmm. Couldn't give those away. Soon as hip hop came, boom! Now they're fifty dollars. He definitely, he's the most, he's the most sample man like in hip hop history, right? Gotta yeah. be. Yeah, yeah that's that's how I think it's drum, all drum, all drum loops, all yeah. them shits, yo, like Crazy. one, two, three, all that oh, yeah. shit. Yes, he birthed hip hop. Right, that was, that was a good James Brown play. He was on some shit. When you really look where he was coming from, you know what I'm saying, like. The dude love, came in that in that era that was like the whole thing was starting to change. The whole world was starting to look in the world a different way. Just Vietnam Wars is all kind of you mm-hmm. feel me like. Yo, so he came up, got really that be a rock star back then. He really birthed yeah. that hip hop shit early. Him and exactly. him, Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali, that and it was rapping and Malcolm X. Malcolm really, X. Yeah, Muhammad really, Ali would come in the right. interview, drop bars, you with and, yeah. and he would predict the round. He would yeah. say his his rhyme. <clears throat> He say his bars and the, the last bar is how he's gonna knock him out in six or whatever. Do we do you know it? what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, then, then he stopped doing it. Someone like was probably like, "Hey, bro, that's the <laughs> black magic shit." <chill. laughs> <laughs> like, all them niggas was paying for them points. You know? Hey, you never know, bro. That shit is. That's big, what I'm saying, big man. Early. Money, money, man. Big business money makes the world go round. But yo, speaking of that, it's like. I seen a little cl- uh, a clip of you guys on the car test segment with Elliot Wilson, mm-hmm. where you guys was talking about you know just the uh, independent aspect of you guys. Like, t- I want you guys to talk about that a little bit more. Like, why is it so important for you guys to stay independent and like n- not? I don't want to say not be mainstream because I, I already know it's like <laughs> nigga. If the fucking radio started. Running headstone, yeah. vacation back I'm to not back. Gonna tell stop. Yeah, it's yeah. like we ain't gonna tell him <laughs> stop. Stop playing my mm-hmm. shit. Even though just like the skit is some kids out there who, who want, want you to be end. most yeah. 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 bro. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. But yeah, it's like a lot of it is to, uh, to always be hands on. Yeah. And and to know that you you own yourself because uh, like we were saying. Uh, they can stop all the music, and then if you already don't own yourself, you can't put the music back out because they already own it. Facts, right? Right. That's part of it. And on top of that, there's you competing with a roster of people that may, like we talked about earlier, streams. They got more streams than you. They got more whatever than you. So Numbers, where do you fit on that on their on their ladder? Yeah. They might come to you mm-hmm. after they take care of all these. You other know things. what's so crazy? It's like they can measure all this other shit, but they can't measure influence. Mm-hmm. For real? Nope. They can't and measure. They wish they could grab it. They wish they could, they could grab it and bottle it. Because they, they, they would. They would, bro. Absolutely. Politicians bro. wish they could have like what Jay Z does out there. They wish they could mm-hmm. have that. Facts. Like like fucking in the in in like like back to James Brown. James Brown at that time being more 
more popular than fucking President Nixon. Right. Real, right. And shit right. like that. You and know what tapes I'm of Nixon yeah. right before James Brown walks in the room being like, what is, what is this black woman? <laughs> right. <laughs> what does he want to talk to me about? What, what do I know about black? Uh, how about I make, <laughs> wait, 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 how about I know make more than $400,000 a year right. and uh, have a bigger voice bro, than you? He's, he's, like, <laughs> bro, he's literally like, what, are we, what am I going to talk about blacks? And he's like, hey, hey, James, how's hey, it black. going? Hey, black. Hey, James Black. Hey, James Black. <laughs> Leon Black is his name in Kirby. Leon, Leon Black. Black. Leon Black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Who's Leon Black? Uh, Kirby Enthusiasm. Uh, Larry David, his roommate. Oh, oh family's man. the Blacks. Okay. Damn, Black. I know this nigga's uh, JB Smooth. Sorry, JB Smooth. sorry. <laughs> JB Smooth. Oh, <laughs> sorry, JB. He's sorry, watching this Leon. shit. <laughs> Show you badass, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> so yo, what do you guys think about like? Mainstream rap and like where is that right now? I mean, we kind of spoke about it, but like just head on, like what do you guys? Who is considered mainstream? mainstream? Exactly. I'm gonna say yeah. who is considered mainstream. That is first. I'm a little then, off. Then if you can give a name well, or let's two. Let's define it. I mean, I would say mainstream is Drake. Fire. Yeah. Definitely Fire. Drake. Mm -hmm. Fire. And I'm fucking with Drake right now. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. No complaints. No complaints Same. about what Drake is doing. Um, Same. I say mainstream is like the niggas who can't ran on the radio back to back. Also, oh, same Migos. <laughs> Drake Migos, 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 Migos Street Savage, Niggas, so. uh, Post Malone, uh, but he's really like on this. I'm not mad at none of that. I'm not yeah. mad at it. What about like the Little Zans or the? Uh, I never I don't heard know that that's music. not mainstream. I don't know that music. I don't, I don't think that's mainstream. mainstream. At least not yet. Yeah. And I don't know that either. It's Yo, but nigga, we having like a billion. How do you have like a billion? Going back to these numbers. Yeah, but you be having these numbers. That's crazy. Yes. Never heard of it. That always surprises me. I'm like, damn, I'm not the loop or Am I too old? Oh no, no, it's a billion of a. People that dude were. probably has more streams than us or more plays than us, but our album debut higher than his. So yeah. I'm just saying. So all that shit don't mean nothing, man. Yeah, I don't understand Facts. the numbers, man. I was never Facts. good at math. You guys got to figure it out. Because yeah. the nigga got a billion plays in the video, to yeah, me, it's wild. at least a million people should buy an album. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Right. Unless Alien? they're watching your they're watching video. They're watching you look how stupid you look? Not because you know. They're they watching it, right? No, nah, I mean, that's what this generation is. Like I, 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 I always <laughs> tell people, this is a this is a watcher generation. Mm-hmm. The motherfuckers watch. Mm -hmm. It's like they want to be attracted to what they see before they even grasp what they're actually hearing. Mm -hmm. Hearing, true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. That's what it is. It's right. like you got to capture people visually. First That's why visuals are so important. Yeah. Or anything else. By the way, y'all doing a fucking phenomenal job. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, 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 the fucking album promos, bro, just doesn't even say what, but bro, that shit was fucking genius. Thank Thanks, you, man. man. Genius. Yeah, man. Like, I'm really trying to good. hire your guys. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you got me to that. I think it's a direct my shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's up? Like, nah, that shit was fun as fuck, man. We trying to make a TV show one day, hopefully, you know? Yeah. Holla at us, anybody. CBS, 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 LSB. Shit, man. Whatever the three letters. Is. I mean, I, I, I want to. I want to see more LSD twenty five. I feel you. Me too. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, we will. We might have to get home. you one day. I was just about to say, yo, you, I got, I got to come stop. through. Yeah, oh, yeah. LSD twenty five. So how about you this? Whenever saying? you drop your next shit, you got the interview on LSD twenty five. Hey. <laughs> Say that. I'm holding y'all to that. Nah, we're doing that. Say that. Say that. I can't fucking wait. It's fucking. I want to meet Dirk Cobain. <laughs> Yo, so top five dead or alive. I need y'all to do MCs and I need you to do producers. Oh, okay. I, 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 you know what I'm saying? We want to start right, first. first. The Great Hope Eminem. We're gonna start first. Okay. You want to add? You doing it in order? No, 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 you go do your. No, I wasn't doing order. No, oh, okay, okay, okay. No order. Just no. five. Oh, all right, just uh, five. I'm Eminem, my Biggie right Smalls, mm -hmm. um, Tupac. Then I'm gonna have to throw Jay Z in there. Mm -hmm. Why you just gonna have to throw him in there? Why you just can't put him in there? <laughs> well, here's the thing. I love fucking Jay Z to death. Yeah. But growing up. I got into Jay-Z more later on in life. Mm -hmm. So growing up, I was listening to more like Snoop Dogg and Easy e and word, WA, word, word, word. stuff like that. But as I got older, you know, I, I took it all in. No doubt. Kind of skipped it, so. Eminem, Biggie Smalls, Jay-Z. Jay I don't even remember who Tupac. I said. Tupac. Tupac, you got one more. Tupac, one more. I'm just gonna, people aren't gonna understand it, but I'm just gonna say Tech 9 Word. Because he's just he's fire. The flow, man. That shit is impeccable. Fucking yeah, beats. he got a crazy flow. Been doing it for years. Shout out to Tech Nine, man. Shout out to yeah, man. Like an so independent fire. powerhouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. But that's, that's just lyrics well. and like MCing skills. No, no, facts. Snoop Dogg is sure. in there. Um, I'm not saying he's not a great lyricist because that nigga can flow and freestyle any day, any moment. But he's more like my top five influence as far as style. Yeah, this list like, is so crazy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go I, I, I have so much influence with different shit, but if it just comes to my top favorites, Biggie Smalls. Mr. Ellis. 
Tupac, Nasir Jones, Jay Z, and I'm gonna put it's Eminem slash Lil Wayne slash Kanye West, and I'm gonna explain why. <laughs> Because a lot of those three guys like really influenced like me as an artist a lot. Like when I seen Kanye West perform Glow in the Dark tour, that shit. Yo, I literally was like, anything. Kanye I said, bro, yeah, I gotta be part of this. I said, I don't know what this is. The stage show, whether it be if I'm the nigga that's pushing or throwing a nigga award, I gotta be part of this. <laughs> shit. Listen, bro, <laughs> Kanye West graduation album is the first album where I was like, mom. And you need to take me to the record store. Yeah, you gotta get, uh, gotta, gotta gotta get that. Fire. It's yeah. like he going up against 50, like, I need Kanye. I remember. I'll a few people that bought 50s out. I love you, 50. But I you bought both. Right? I bought both. I bought both. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I knew yeah, 50. I knew you was gonna lose, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So I bought two courtesies, actually, bro. I ain't gonna try to help him. So you didn't, he did. I was gonna say, I remember getting kicked out of class because I didn't want to turn off college dropout. That's how, was, that's how in the fucking zone I was in there. Kind that of was, that was the first hip hop album that I heard from front to back in its entirety was late registration. <sighs> Amazing. That's that was because my, my mom used like to work. Damn, my bro. mom used to work at this at this tax company. She's the tax is called Jackson Hewitt, and like every day after school, I would just have to go there and like you know hang with her to mm -hmm. like work concluded. And late registration was that one album she had on her desk that like just grasped. Mm -hmm my attention. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it was about that shit, but I was like, Mark, I listen to this shit and she used to just let me listen to it, no problem. Like, and I, I memorized Straight that up. shit front yeah. to back. So flows when graduation way, came, yeah. I was like, oh, no, you, you gotta, gotta, you gotta yeah. take yeah. it. You gotta yeah. take yeah. me to go. Like, Kanye, you know what I'm saying? And, and for the people who are scared to pay homage, I just wanted to say the roses and the, the hey mama that inspired me to write the glory verse on Vacation in Hell. Fire. We're never afraid to tell. Fire. Sure. Yeah. Nice. Man, though. Yeah. Oh, we talking about Kanye. Kanye definitely. Yeah, okay, there. no doubt. Um, Teddy Riley. Oh shit. I would also throw Babyface in it. Um, Babyface. I would have never expected him to say that. I didn't even know Babyface produced. Boys, oh, yeah. Keys, I like anybody boys. that goes Word. All the Babyface Keys. Know that. All the heads. The Neptunes. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. and the last I would give to Dr. Dre. That's that was easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm not mad at you. Yeah. I'm not just surprised with the baby face yeah, one, right? Man, that list <laughs> got me terrible. I, like, I, I didn't even know baby faces like that, bro. Yeah, yeah, I always top five, yeah. but those feel like I, I left know. people out when I... That's why I, I cheated. I put three figures at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I also found out that the top Top seven. Oh! We was listening to every day. For real? That was Tank. He helped write that. Yeah, Louis. Wow. Tank helped do the O song, Amarion. You lying? Nah, yeah, he, he that, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes yeah, sense that makes though. Sense. That makes that, that makes a lot of sense. That was a very grown record. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> very dope. Very dope. Very grown record. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he came from you guys serve. Now he talking about all oh, shit. Like, you guys serve was my shit though, bro. That shit is my comedy. Is that, that comedy? Yeah. Yeah. Is this supposed to be a comedy? Because we were laughing at it when we were younger. <laughs> that shit is hilarious. Yo, wait. I just watched it again the other day, and I was like, wow. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like. They did some good acting in this shit. You think so? Yeah. It's not oh, yeah. 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 I was looking at it again. No. You, oh, you no, got your generation. Who was it that we used to make? <laughs> you got served. Wait, what's it you got served? I'm like, oh. Uh, <laughs> <don't>, tuned <laughs> out here. <laughs> who was it that kept saying that Marcus Houston wasn't top 100 R&B? Uh, Peter Rosenberg. It was him that said that? And we kept saying it, and he was top 100. Alan Peter Rosenberg. He is top 100. <laughs> well, no, Marcus no, no. Houston is top 100 I'm glad you brought that up, right? Because this is this thing. This is thing that I like. I like to do it like when I'm having great conversations like this, right? So, so, so this is this whole concept, right? We got a spaceship. The spaceship is going out into a fucking other universe. Like, Earth is done. It's quiet for Earth. Wait, before we get on that spaceship. Right. Do we ask the question? All right, all right, go ahead. <laughs> before we get on the spaceship, maybe we'll come back to all the spaceship. Right. Is it a globe? Oh no, you're gonna do it. Or is it flat? <laughs> How about this? Uh, How about this? It. Break it down. It could be a shape we don't even know exists. I love that. Um, See, that's Okay, wait. That's a good when I say flat, and I'm not a flat earther, what shape? Or are you? <sighs> <laughs> what shape do you think of when I say flat earth? <laughs> No shape. A Just line. straight lines, bro. Yeah, straight, straight line. line. Like it doesn't lines. make sense. Straight this line. is a rectangle. I, I think right, it's more, rectangle. Yeah. Okay. I would like to think it's Earth's more of a, of a realm rather than anything else. Mm -hmm. I'm just into that mystical Tesla. shit. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm Tesla. You know Tesla? Yeah. That's what Tesla. Yeah. Even though it could, like, be, it could be proven wrong nigga. tomorrow. Why he was getting off his chemist, bro. Ancient. He was getting all his information. I feel like it's impossible. And he had a didiatic memory, too. So he didn't write notes. So he would just be like, 
execution. This is what it is. That's yeah. it. There is this no is like, is. yo, let me get it some would make more sense if it's around. Just did it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Sure. I mean, I feel like it's even possible that this could be around within a round. Yeah, I think. Yeah. This could all be in my head. haven't been everywhere. <laughs> this could be a dream. Yeah, I haven't been everywhere. Be well, they be say, yo, they say self-awareness, it comes from realizing that I'm a part of your dream. That's your self-awareness. So when I realize I'm part of your dream, your dream, that's my self-awareness. You feel me? Because mm. when, you, when you really realize that we are all dreaming mm -hmm. and we are all in some illusion that could be manipulated pretty easily, we see, actually, you know? And it's not even Matrix yet. It's not even, like, the movie shit mm -hmm. yet. They're, they're trying to implement that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We're still real world, you feel me? We didn't have to go on the ground and all that wild shit. And all that. But we got the answers to all that because we're hip-hop. We have mm -hmm. all these answers, you feel me? So Through cool. music. Right. Yeah. And I don't have enough proof to know that it's flat or not flat. And I don't have a lot of proof from a lot of things. What about I believe, globe? So I just you think it's a globe? I just can't not you. figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you do. Right? 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 It just can't be perfect. What about what about what about globe? Do we think it's globe? Because look, the reason why I don't rock with globe right off the bat. A globe could be octagon though. You know, right? but you know who brought the globe out? Christopher Columbus. Exactly. Feel me? Why exactly. he was trying to do what Feel he was me? doing. Well, you know, but all I mean is like let me just I know I gave my shit, but that all I other that could also mean it's not a perfect sphere. Yeah. It could be a okay. oblique. So, it could be so an look, obli so look, what do you call it? I didn't graduate. Oblique. <laughs> oblique. Got you. I got you. Hey. Yeah. You know, but so the flat earthers think that it's a circle. You feel me? But it's just surrounded. It's not a sphere. Oh, some niggas think it's a donut. And they say it's a dome over that with a circle around it. I mean, there's it's domes around this bitch, but with the, we can what see we them. think is Antarctica, South Pole, North Pole is all the way around it. You feel me? So it just kind of just opens. What I really think our thing is about opening minds when we look at these things. You feel me? Like the ocean is not really the bottom to me, only because I feel like. We just used to that. How does that stay on the road? We could be the bottom. It's just Earth. weird. It's like, so what if it's really the other way? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, true indeed. Because you go so far down. Wouldn't the as compass as lead us to what's north, to the north, south, right? No. Right. So what if that's one point in the middle? Yeah. Right. Mm. It's like, that's why is the compass magnetics only going north? Mm. Why is there not a south magnetic pole? I didn't sure. pay attention I'm enough sure. in high school. I'm not sure. <laughs> and I submitted college applications. Hey, bro, I ain't, <laughs> I ain't paid attention enough in high school either. I just paid attention. I know that I don't trust yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson, though. I'll tell you that. I don't trust him. Who? Neil deGrasse Tyson. Nah. I don't trust none of those niggas. <laughs> I don't really. Uh, like, I seen that nigga the other day. I know you gonna see He's that getting the shape up. He's smart and all that. Yeah. 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 He was getting his shape up, bro. Like I walked in the barbershop. It's like it's like it's like when the barbershop first opened too. Only I'm nigga in the chair. Should not be getting the shape. Neil deGrasse Tyson. This thing is there. It's like what? That's crazy. Fuck what like, you talking uh, about? Huh? What was he talking about? Oh, that, bro, I didn't realize it was Neil deGrasse Tyson until I left. That nigga better been dropping out of lies. I don't trust him. I forgot to tell you. Wow, wow, something what about it just whenever I whenever they go he to He got like a channel or something. Not to say like oh, he's not shit, but like he's just everywhere. Mm -hmm. He's the science guy. Alright, so here's my thing, man. So is Bill Nye. He's not. Yeah, correct, and so Bill Nye's not legit because Bill Nye's character started as a joke. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. Bill you Nye. Go, when you go look at niggas' paperwork, and bro, guys, and go look bro, at their paperwork, bro. And that nigga that nigga Neil deGrasse Tyson said himself, he flunked in school and shit like that. Go look at niggas' paperwork and it's like, what theories have you made up, bro? You're just regurgitating shit that other niggas have said. I could do that, I could study things. Okay, this is what the right. laws of physics are. Yeah. When they ask me the question, I know it. Yeah. Like that ain't what, nothing. Yeah, so like, you, yeah. I really want to know. It's more like so indoctrination. Bill right. not the science guy. No, Stephen Hawking has some shit. He's he's created theories yeah. and yeah. shit like that. You know what I mean? These niggas haven't done none of that. So uh, niggas don't destroy me in the comments, but I'm not. Neil the grass, come come see me, Neil the grass. <laughs> he won't debate, and when a nigga won't debate, that gets me weird because it's like, why won't you debate? It's like because he's right. Nah, nah, nah. You hide something, He's right bro. about everything. You're trying to hide He's like, something. I won't debate with you. He's like, oh, you already said you didn't finish high school. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, for you. It's over for you. Right. right. Yeah. Well, that motherfucker's being yeah. shit, man. Sorry, Neil the Grass. What about what about aliens? They exist, nigga. Big time. Big time, nigga. Why wouldn't Why they exist? Why they don't look like that skinny nigga with the big ass I think ass so. Eyes. I think they got some maybe of them Maybe a brand like of them. I don't know. Maybe a certain species might. I don't know. Aliens could be anybody, I think. Mm -hmm. I think they got aliens in the us. ocean, bro. I think they're living yeah. amongst us. They got turkey like fish. Like Vince Stable said, jellyfish, that's shit. some weird shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, lobsters yeah. don't die unless you kill them either. So what if space is Bro, that's what weird. That's what I'm saying. Space can be dead. Lobsters don't, don't die. die. Yeah, unless you kill a lobster. The deeper you get, the more infamous you find that we don't even know. So there's lobsters from like weird 10,000 years ago. They tell me. Fluorescent lights shining everywhere. There's caustic fumes that emit from the middle of the earth that would kill anybody. There's pressure. There's gravity. There's all type of shit that would kill any 
living thing yes. besides that. Right. So that shit is an alien. To besides me. what? The shit that lives down there. Oh, then the abyss. Fish. This yeah, like when you get way down there, that that like, niggas don't know what's going on. You can't oh. live. Nothing can live Bro. down there. So what else it is could be the yeah. final frontier? That's space. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that could be a whole nother thing over there. It's like yo. To, to think that, like, so much of the ocean is still undiscovered. Crazy. I'm going to say some funny oh, shit. Yeah. What if <laughs> the niggas go down there and it's, like, literally a whole nother society? No, niggas bro. Niggas would, music. Honestly, wouldn't niggas even be surprised, though, bro. I ain't going to hold you. I wouldn't even really be surprised. Would you be yeah. down to go live? I'm like, I'm out. I'm going out bro, with the water, be, Trust me. They'd be down I mean, there. I don't know if I can survive. <laughs> <laughs> they'd be bumping hard music. Trust. Yeah, yeah. They'd be bumping on hip-hop. Oh, no, no, no. Not right now. We got to go shit. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, they'd be like, did you hear this new, new Billy Down Productions? <laughs> nah, it'll be like a flip, like the Flatbush Sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Joey <Yeah>. Crabass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ultimate yeah, versions of us. Y'all ever seen like videos of like um, the dude who was like a few Show years ago, he like kind of jumped into the Earth's atmosphere. From space, yeah. Red Bull nigga. Yeah. I try to study that video very carefully. They said it was yeah. fish islands. Mm. Everything they do over there is fish island. They, they say a lot of the stuff you see in space, what you think is them like floating around satellite and shit is They got water. some feet on NASA right now that they claim. Green screen like, water. Mm -hmm. Green screen water. Oof. Water. We'll never man. know. Bro. NASA. Never fucking it's a little close yo, to NASA. Man, that's how, yo, we just got to pull our money together and just fund this fucking space trip into 2000. The second we go up there, niggas gonna shoot back. Hell yeah. Niggas gonna shoot back. 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 Niggas gonna shoot that good shit. Mm -hmm. Yo, what was like your family religion growing up? My family's religion was Christian. 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 I, mean, I grew up in church and shit. I grew up in that, that Caribbean spiritual Christian dumpy, scared same, of ghosts, same. scared well, of everything. Well, that spook is Yeah, you just sage, you just sage in the incense, floor the water, say fucking your prayers and all that, all that scary shit. That shit's scary. So where, where y'all stand on religion now? I don't know. I believe in something, but I don't know what I can call it. Um, I guess I'm more spiritual than anything else. Like, I feel like that's something I can actually prove. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like... And feel like... Yeah, like, real. that's something yeah. I can actually... A book, to me, is regurgitated knowledge. And as much as I love books, I got many books. I just feel like that might have been something that somebody wrote. And people just believe. Absolutely. So I can't really say it's fact, but it's nothing to knock nobody religion though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And the Bible today is still getting altered, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And um we're I'm, in like what the 47 version? And, it's and I remember being altered, young. I remember being young, young still at my grandparents' house stolen Stephen story. King version saying like stolen story. I said I said to my grandma one time, back when I was younger, after taking a bunch of trips and shit, like, is this church even working? And she's like, what do you mean? God is good. And I'm just like, but really, what is it doing for us? Is it really working? Yeah. Or are they, are they just taking the money and like doing nothing with it? Are they, are they really giving it back? Wow. You, yeah. you're, you're giving all your money to some hope for faith to die, to be happy? Yeah, like, it's, or it's, to be like There's secure. so much construct Nothing's in religion. going on. I love yeah. to say religion is division, but like I have mad family members and friends that like are part of a religion now. And like it helps, it helps them. And I can see how religion can help, but then it's I like, yeah. it it's also the cause for so much. Nothing else is happening. It's also the cause for so much pain. And like, for, sure. for me, like, yo, even for things centuries. like the Catholic Church, bro, like, how could, like, no disrespect, and I hate saying no, because it means disrespect. You know, the new age shit, no disrespect, but fuck And then you. say some fuck But like, <laughs> but no disrespect, but if I'm part of something where, like, people are. No disrespect fucking, to something I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if I'm part of something where people are fucking kids, bro, like, Catholic Church, where that kind of shit is going on, I'm instantly leaving, bro. If yeah. I'm watching the NBA and I found out every team is fucking kid, I'm out. I'm not watching that no more. How yeah. you still follow? So, right. This is the only thing where people are so afraid because they're so afraid of the afterlife, yeah. the unknown, the it's afraid. Like dreams. The one thing that Neil deGrasse actually said, he called it the gap of the gods. It's actually the most, the best thing he's ever said. He said, people are afraid. And I, and, I believe, and, I, and I believe in this shit too. It's like, people are afraid of the unknown. So they, yeah. they build this. They're looking for something. Everything that they don't believe, like, yo, damn, that must be God. Like, what do you mean that must be God? What if mm -hmm. there's an answer for this? Mm -hmm. It's like luck when niggas tell you. You ever nigga ever tell you lucky, Joey? Yeah. That shit don't get you tight. 
That gets me tight, bro. Yeah, I don't like when niggas tell me, yo, you so lucky, and it's like, tight. what you mean I'm lucky? You know yeah, how hard niggas be? I work for this, Wait, bro. What you mean? Hard. And that's what a lot of niggas do when they don't understand like, yeah, something. Smart, they, 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 they put God into that. What if that God is our happiness, the holiness inside of each, each one of us? One of you know what I mean? one of and together. Right. We, and that's, and that's, that's ultimately spiritual. what I believe. Now, I feel like we all are God. Because I feel like I believe in, like, what is it called? Monotheism or some shit like I'm that? Like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. No, no, I'm not nothing. I'm me. Yeah. I'm Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, whoa. Yeah, I'm Joe, bro. I'm Christian. I'm like, I'm Joe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just believe that we are all part of one larger thing. Yeah. It's like, I remember like back to psychedelics. I remember I was on a psychedelic trip on my 22nd birthday last year and we was on the Turks and Caicos and we had some shrooms. Mm. And I remember just like almost having like this out of body experience where I projected myself like 40,000 feet in wow. the air and I looked back down and I was like, wow, I can't even see me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, once, once you pan all the way out, you don't even see you. It's mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're, yeah, so, we're yeah, such so a speck, bro. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're so minuscule and it's like, if you pan all the way out, we're eventually just gonna be one thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good all point, together, huh? yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like, yeah. look, I look at it from that view. Yeah, sure. and like, yo, anytime like I, my ego start taking over me or like I feel like I'm getting that too much, I just look at it from that view again. Mm -hmm. I just be like, yo, like, if I'm arguing with somebody that I love or something like that, I just gotta like take myself out, step outside my body, and just mm -hmm. go way, 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 way out mm -hmm. and realize that we're all one. Mm -hmm. I like to look at that as like we all a gear and like this giant machine, bro. And like you yeah, gotta, that like, too. Or we're all just like shit. particles or, or like organisms. God's organism. brain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're all cells. Yeah, Everything yeah, is cells yeah, and frequency. frequency. Now we are, bro. Because it's like be bacteria. Yeah. Huh? yeah. No, no, that's what I'm saying. You look, bro. Because like I believe in soul above, soul below. It's like. What I have in my body is essentially what we are. We're a body of That's people. The universe. Right. They love using that. We're a body of people or a body of water. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. Or we're mostly maybe water. A body of galaxies. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. ultimately, we're just we're what one you don't thing. mix. We're what you don't mix. Water and electricity. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. right now, take a toaster, throw it in the tub. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. That's Destruction. Us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walking that. Yeah, that's, you know that's, what we are. that's why we're so powerful. Yeah. Yeah. That's a and fact. then together. So some real like keeping it down with the frequencies. That's it. To keep that. That's like, a fact. Yeah. But you, you know, know while I do story think, real quick, I just thought something yeah. crazy. You remember not to take it to a darker place, but during 9-11. Um a, my yeah. <laughs> nah, cause it's it, it's been something positive always. Nah, so go I'm, dark, I'm go dark. It. It's a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, my brother, he introduced me to somebody who um, worked at the company he works at. And during 9-11, when it happened, the foundation of the building, um, you know, it's not like when the, when, when the planes hit that the whole shit just fell apart. There was still, like, structural shit there before it actually fell to the ground. Mm -hmm. And um, I met this dude who told me the story or whatever. And um, he actually... He actually saw the building when it was still a piece and it was like debris and like pieces of the structure falling off. But he said some part of it was beautiful, you know, and he said, um, he said it was called steel standing to him, like still wow. standing, but steel standing. He's mm -hmm. like, it just spoke to him. He just told me a story about how he took a picture of it. And, um, you know, everybody went to buy it from him. He had sponsorships that, that, were, that were willing mm -hmm. to like give him all this money. He was like, nah, I want to hold it for the commemorative, like when it's 10, 15 years, then I'll start to like develop it and, and whatever. And I'll show people my photo. Lo and behold, he told me the story. He was like, yo, that day, everybody felt the same emotion of pain, right? And because everyone felt the same way, he talking about religion, everybody <laughs> in New York City, fuck it, the world was like, this is fucked up. Mm -hmm. And that created a positive energy because everybody was on the same page, even if it was something negative. The whole mm -hmm. world saw the that. The whole once. world was like, damn, the whole world was focused on up. that. Yeah. So something good came out of that. That's why I was like, when I think of religion, it's like, even in the worst, I we mean, all have common. That's why they use Christ. Believe, the cross right. As, mm -hmm. as, exactly, that's what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Yeah, it's almost stars like, it's almost like Donald Trump getting elected. Right, mm -hmm. all too. fucking yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, now it's like we're having these conversations more. Now it's like we're you know, getting in tune with, with politics more. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, you know, I feel like I speak for a lot of people and probably black people, mostly black people for sure, but it's like when Obama was president, how many of us is really checking into politics? Here and there, like, like less, not less, as much less, now, less, where it's yeah, like right less. in your face and you kind of got to like watch out for the drone killings. 
And yeah, then, and he passed the, the law for, for food to and get And I know he freed a lot of niggas Monsanto. from the Rockefeller drug law. Like, that's the kind of shit I'm looking at. I'm sorry if I'm just looking at that kind of shit. But, like, he freed mad niggas that got locked up from the Rockefeller drug law. Yep. When I say niggas, I am just mean black people. Like, I know some people think I do. But there's some white niggas out there, too. Yeah, like, <laughs> he freed a lot of people during the, the, the bad, the drug, during the crack era, and during a lot of people who got arrested for mm-hmm. weed and stupid shit like that. Yeah. He made sure a lot of those guys got out of jail. And, and, he, and he was the first president to go and, and, and talk to, to inmates. Yeah, and that's yeah. like that shit like that is very important Facts. because mm-hmm. we don't rehabilitate any of those people. We just lock them up and then yeah. expect Plus, them to his be model them. for how he ran it and his level of class and oh, yeah, you could tell right. his family was real. Ain't no like, president ever gonna be cooler than him. No, no matter that's what the they best try to do. That's, that's the best person. Well, any of them gonna no see. No matter what they try to do. Like, and back to the, not po- politically speaking, just as far as like he did his thing up there, man. Back to the whole still standing thing, though, right? It's like, all right, so yeah, like. We just gonna keep it a buck. This shit got real deep. Card got full. So that's why y'all just seen that jump. Mm-hmm. If y'all seen the jump, but we here still. So like, we here still standing. Ooh, oh, hey. Still sin. You rap? Second that's why you rap. Rap. You rap? I, I, maybe I should though. Yeah, you should rap, bro. Nah, what I was gonna say about that point is like, anytime I'm on the bridge, bro, and I'm like going into the city, and anytime I look at that landscape and I just see all those buildings, I can't help but think like, wow, like all of those structures that I'm looking at are all thoughts. Mm. All of this is like it, it's, it's all a growth of yeah. thoughts. Yeah. Like origin, like there's so many things right now, manifestations or structures or things or objects that are being thought of right now. Someone that had just to, had someone had to the think to make yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. Seen yet. Like Sketched objects. It and frequencies to me, too. This is low frequencies, you know. Bro, you know, or your heart. Tesla, you didn't sketch it. Yeah, <laughs> and to me, like, executed. that's some. That's like one of, like, I feel like as human beings, like, that's probably, like, our main role, or that's, like, our superpower. The fact that we could just think about some shit and, like, bring it into reality. Like, what other animal or known species can do that? Can do that with humans. Very, yeah. Like, one that shit is crazy, crazy to me. Out. What? They say that chimps and like apes like that are in their version of Stone Age. So like they're learning how to make tools and doing mm, That's crazy. Yeah, that's kind of like, like the movies though. That's, that's about it, right? crazy. <laughs> that's, that's what they were showing us in, in Planet of the Apes yeah, and shit. Stone Age right now. Um, there's actually a crazy documentary about a, a gorilla called Coco the Gorilla that learned sign language. It's the craziest shit ever. Oh yeah, I that think that shit fucked me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching that shit, that shit fucked me up. That man. shit is crazy, <laughs> motherfucker. Mm. That, that, that Coco learned to talk full sentence to you, nigga. Sign she loved Robin, she met Robin Williams, she fell in love with Robin Williams, and Robin, when they told her Robin Williams died, she cried and shit. Oh my like, that goodness, shit, like, that's crazy. She was understanding English too, though. Not like, full, yeah. one more cup of water and that's it. And then she did that and turned the water off. Like, yeah. one more cup and turned it off. He was like, yo, what the-, the goal, Their goal was to teach the gorilla sign language in hopes that when that gorilla has another baby. They teach that gorilla sign language, and then it keeps the going game, on. And then yo, we just gonna communicate. Did you ever see the movie Two Thousand and One? Yeah, Space Odyssey. Yeah, oh, they had right. an album called Three Thousand. No, no, no. Listen, no, Odyssey. no, no. Listen, <laughs> listen. So in the it says the dawn of man, right? Mm-hmm. And it shows the monkeys. What happens? They go, they battle, they fight, they kill each other, doing this wild shit. And then they go, and the monolith shows up. Now monolith is melanin. Right? So the melanin showed up. You feel me? And their whole shit was to, as soon as they touched it, right? That's when some other shit, it goes boom, and they're in the spaceship. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that monolith is the phones. You feel me? Mm -hmm. We're all touching it. You feel me? The whole world's touching it now. And some people are from some gorilla monkey shit developed in the lab out here. So Mm -hmm. they're touching it too. Just like that 9-11 shit, that's the mm. beginning of everyone facing everyone. the monolith. It's true, it's true. true. Mm. And it's the same shape. And it's melanin. Too. Monolith, Mono- melanin. melanin. Trust. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, Space Odyssey. In 2001 is when those buildings came down, you feel me? That was mm. their Space Odyssey. Mm. You know what I mean? That's crazy. That's what they did. I never saw those two things. Yeah, like, yeah. I've been studying for my whole, like, my whole shit. It's been studying. You feel me? Like, I've been doing hip-hop and studying. You know there's a sequel to Space Odyssey? Yes, 2010. Yeah, that shit sucks. You'll yeah, it's not it. a good movie, but it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's when they first make contact. It's not a good movie. It it's kind of like... Cause Don't Kubrick, ever watch that No, because of Kubrick, though. This yeah. guy was on some other shit, the director. Yeah. 2001. And they say that 2001 is the technology they used on your, spa- moon, for the space. On your moon landing. Yeah, I, I trolled niggas on some... What, what was that that we did? 
up in the what's the some we did some we did some shit on the internet and I, I said something about the moon landing and it got mm. so much niggas tight. Oh yeah, so, 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 so. where the shit? It's a lot of crazy. It's a lot of real Americans that get mad. Like, yo, it's God damn it, who's there? Yo, it's asking the Americans who get mad with questions about this. It's Americans who get mad with everything. Don't you fucking? You know that Russian sent a dog and a black woman in space before we sent a rock into outer space. So it doesn't really matter. We ever got the moon, right? The moon. There's the picture of them on the moon or a picture from the moon. There's Earth. It looks weird. Right, then where's the stars? There's no stars, it's just black. Like, nah, bro, this is niggas admitted to Hollywood. faking some of the Fat photos. Flags Hollywood. blowing and shit. Come on, no flags blowing. There's, there's no air, air. there's solar <laughs> wind, bro. They made up solar <laughs> wind and shit. Talking about solar <laughs> wind. Come on, man. The flag is blowing. Come on, man. That's what I'm talking about. Right? The flag is, bro. The it has a stick. Like, blowing. no, we have a stick. It's holding it out. Like, <laughs> no, it's still it, blowing. Let's just be blowing, bro. Let me start on this, bro. If you're moving like this, how is the flag blowing? What the fuck? That's not make no sense, bro. And those astronauts, when they be like, yo, how about what this? happened there? They be punching journalists and ask them, like, yo, swear how on the Bible, you saw, you know, you was on the moon. <laughs> how about this? As simple as this, you ask, you watch secrecy. videos of them <laughs> describing space. Some of them said it's like some velvety looking shit. Some of them say it's deep as dark as night. How two niggas go, if me and you both go to motherfucking... We're going to say the same shit. We're going to say, Mickey Mouse was there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to say two different things, nigga. Ain't no nigga going to describe some velvety shit. And another thing gonna say it's straight black. Also, they get mad, they punch niggas. Yeah. And another thing, man, let's get common sense. <laughs> this is the 60s, bro. These niggas get going into space, they go into the space in the 60s. Why we ain't going now? No, you know why nobody ain't going right? now? Yeah, yeah, no. no, they said they, they lost the technology. What? That's, That's what the said. official NASA. We gonna go back oh, to the phone. Oh, so we, we, we developed the phone, that. though. We don't know what you mean, though. But we developed the phone, though. Go on, go on, um, go on NASA, watch the videos of them supposed to, supposedly in space with the wires. They did this like two years ago. Yeah. I watched it live. I watched it, and I watched niggas it's, on the live stream comment so like, sucks. I see the wire. Because niggas is getting stuck on the wire and someone's holding them like, oh shit, niggas on the wire. <laughs> They're literally folding, bro. You're not in space. They said they can't get there because of the belt of Valhalla. Right. I did all my research, all right? Yeah, yeah. I know what's going on. We got you, NASA. <laughs> <laughs> not slick. I want to go down there. I don't want to go up there, all right? NASA. <laughs> NASA. <laughs> they used to say it was like massive. You know what I'm saying? No, NASA. NASA. <laughs> Yo, Chuck D. so, Azure Projection. Let's speak about that. You guys got any experiences with Azure Projection? Yo, let me want Um, as a man, I don't know, I never did <laughs> sites. I never did sites. You don't want to start some shit like that. Like, yo, as a man, as a man, cause I think of the, First you know what I'm saying, as a man, as a man, sorry. As a man, you know, I never, I never, I never indulged in psychedelics, so I know that, you know, from what I know about that a little bit, it's like, maybe it helps you get there, you know what I'm saying? But I, I've, I've lucid dreamed before, but I've definitely had moments when I have thought that I left my body, um, and it never was like a like weed or no shit like that. It was more like I guess a meditative state, kind of like uh, what would you call it when you that limbo shit, sleep paralysis. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, see, and then you almost like once you mm. once you I right, then you accept that you're something is weird. Once you accept it, it's like a moment where you could feel like you could like go force yourself to wake up, or mm -hmm. you could go. Further, further. further. Mm -hmm. That's happened to me mad times. Maybe Sleep not paralysis. recently, but where like, yeah, I can't move, and I'm like, all right, let, let, let me. Let me, let me, let me go a, this way. I'm a sufferer like, of sleep paralysis. So wait, is bro, it, you so call it suffering? Wait, wait, wait I still, but wait, here's the thing. It's this. Here's the thing. I feel like it's a power, bro. But it's a power, but it depends on. Yeah, I've had times where that shit has happened to me like 10 to 20 times. In one night, night right? Bro, me too. To me. But, I, but it's yeah, like, I need bro, to I know how to induce sleep paralysis on myself, like, wow. off top. But, really? but like, I, could, I could, like, wait, so you're talking just, about. Nobody can be wait, around wait, me. Wait, wait, wait. I could go to sleep and I'd be like, I'm. And I know what right now. It's, it's, it's the boom. space in between when yeah. you're not sleeping. It's when you tell your mind it's going to happen. And you know it, though. That's the thing. You got to know. So you can just jump in that? I could jump right in there. That's the thing. That's why I think it's a power, bro. Yeah, it is. I think, I think, like, I think it's really a lot of misconceptions around like they want you to be scared you know what I'm saying yeah. because I've had sleep paralysis experiences where like I'd psych myself out to seeing some crazy shit mm -hmm. but that's what I was talking to my friend about the other day that, mm -hmm. uh, she said she had a sleep paralysis she was seeing things and I was like I've been dealing with this since I was a kid. I've never Same. really had hallucinations bro I've never I've had really, so many but, the, but the, I never but people say they see like scary like yeah I don't see that I've seen most, that either the most I've seen, I've seen is like if my TV's on 
I think I see little shadows, but then it's oh, like... Oh, I can't have it with the TV on. That's but, so it, but, but I've had that shit happen to me on the tour where I took a nap. I had it happen to me in school. Happens to me on a plane. I've had to, ha, plane. I've had this shit happen to me oh, when I took I a nap. Oh. Yeah. Yo, it only happens to me when I'm dead alone. See, but that's what I mean. Really? That's why like when I say I'm around me. When I'm saying that's I'm suffering, that's why my shit's being a little more scary. I'm saying I'm suffering. There's no reason why I'm in the Uber, nigga. I said, let me take a little quick nap. And I'm like, I'm stuck in this motherfucker. This nigga's like, hey, buddy, get out, buddy. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? That's so crazy. But I can't do it. Then. I gotta figure out. I gotta um, be dead alone. Happened to me bro. two nights ago. Uh, even last night, I think, and I had to get out. I, I get up and got on the couch. I'm just like, yo, bro, I just want to go to sleep right now. And I'ma stay in it. And I stayed in it for like 30 minutes, bro. But it's like I need to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to yeah, go to sleep. Real rest. Yeah. Yeah. It hasn't happened. Not because, to because yo, though. I'm uh, like, like what I'm like, cause I've been having sleep paralysis since a child too. You stopped bro. smoking, so I know yeah. it got a hand. Did it get a hand? It got hands. It It should have. It Yeah, cause once you stop. On 3001 tour, bro. No, no, that's why I can I control suffer. it now. Mm. But that's that's mm-hmm. the key. Weed, weed kills that shit. Nah, because it puts you in a deeper sleep. Yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm dreaming. We make right now, you're now. lucid as fuck, bro. Bro, so no D. Like, every I be waking January, up, I was doing the normal. I be writing myself. my dreams just down. Now. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, I'm, I'm yeah. so aware of shit that's going on. I just be waking up writing the fucking dream that I just had. I gotta do that shit. Yeah, bro. I, I just be trying to put that shit together. But what I would say, though, I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions about astral projection. Like, I feel like a lot of people think it's on some shit. It's like, oh, yeah, you leave your body and then you go into this plane and then you're just like kind of flowing around and flying around and and shit like that but I think it's more like a inside journey now Mm. you know what I mean and and I say that because of like conversations that I have with different people um shout out to Jamar Milton yeah um just like experiences that I've had on my own like with sleep paralysis Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying it's just I would literally wake up and my body is asleep but my mind is aware. Weird, sometimes, yeah. right, sometimes I would yeah. even be like really at that place where <coughs> I'm dreaming like live in but, my room. Yeah, mm-hmm. like the dream is in my room. I love that. The other day mm-hmm. I had a dream. I had super houses in my dream. That's yeah. when the surprises have happens. To wow, me. that's crazy. Yeah. I had one like, yeah. like that's some inception <laughs> shit. You see yourself, yeah. you see yourself, and you could like I couldn't not. Nah, I'm getting up, but I'm like right there. Seeing yourself, getting up, but I'm right there. I'm getting up, but I'm right there. I had a dream. I've woken up and woken up again. Like, oh, that wasn't a dream. This is a dream. It's some. I, I'm a dream. That's the ill one. Because because the dream within a dream within a dream. You gotta watch Waking people. Life. You seen Waking Love Life? We watched that on acid, bro. Like, oh, nice. Three times. Wait, that's the same. Yo, same. I can never get into that same. shit, bro. Oh, bro. Or not? Maybe because nah, I was yeah, so yeah, that, 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 that helped me, him, and Issa get into dreaming. Like, me and this nigga used to take Valerian Root to help boost our dreaming. Remember like, we were wow. in Sound yeah, We had to like, yeah. find ways to make sleep <laughs> right. fun. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. And that's what made us like, yo, let's figure out how to control our dreams. We read dream books. I'd read things like, yo, always ask yourself, are you dreaming? Write something on your wrist so when you have a dream, you look at your wrist, if it's not there, you know, ha, I'm dreaming, lucid. getting lucid yeah. instantly. What they say in the movie, hit the light switch? Yeah. The movie they say? Or look at the clock. Look at the clock. Look at the clock. The, certain things are always different. Like, the, always like even the proportions be fucked shit. up. Like, it'll be Joey's voice, but it don't look like Joey. Or like, it's you, but your voice, it'll be like, yeah. and then squares and triangles for me, it'll be yeah. like, weird. I'll like, be having yeah. fucked up dreams sometimes. I'll be like, yo, and at the back of my mind, I'll be like, damn, I hope this is not real. And I'd be so yeah, happy when I wake up. I'd be like, my like, like, be like ah. Real. Yeah, I'd be, my shit be, my shit be like a Stephen King movie. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> my shit be bad, oh, man. Shit. I remember Fuck, one time, uh, I was sleeping and my girl's sister walked into the room and I was still sleeping, but I felt the energy of someone coming in the room. So I jumped out the bed and I was like, you bitch. I didn't know who it was. I didn't know who it was, but I was, I was, I was sleeping. I didn't know who it was, but I felt the energy come in. I jumped up and I was like, you oh, no. bitch. She, she, she never forget that shit, bro. Man, if I was walking in that room, I'd be fucking terrified yeah. of you. Yeah. Did you hit somebody on the plane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's something, it's not sleep paralysis, <laughs> no, but it's something like, on the I, yeah. yeah. One time this nigga's like threw a fucking, I was sleeping, one time he threw a ball at me and I caught mm. it in my sleep. And then I woke up after, like, I, like I just felt I don't know, just weird shit like that. Yeah, oh, bro. It's weird. This nigga was on the plane and like arm locked the person. <laughs> she was like, no, it's okay. I was like, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Damn, man. man. I gotta learn how to control them shit still. Yeah. I gotta, I'm not afraid of sleep paralysis, but that shit is. <clears throat> nah, I used to see, I used to have a lot of halluc- like hallucinations as a kid. But like, I think it's because of just spookism. Like, yeah. Yeah, shit yeah. that I heard, yeah. shit with religion. Nah, shit I think like that's that. what scares people. Like, yeah. I think it's like when they trip. Some people fear. trip right away. Religion yeah. hits them like, yo, right. yo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're about to dissolve me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm a complete, I done trip one time. I was in this guy's crib. I done seen the craziest shit on shrooms. I done see anything. <laughs> I done seen the fucking... 
Fla for me and fucking. I'm just like, yo, what the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> yeah. house. Oh, holy shit! I, never, I, never, I, never, I never, look at this nigga like that, and that's, that's it. Because to me, it's like, yo, that was just hallucination. I knew that that wasn't like no. I was listening to some song and a nigga mentioned some shit, and I was at the peak of my trip. That's what I seen literally on the for wall. For sure, for sure. I didn't even look at Juice and say, did you see that? Because he didn't see it. There's no need to even bring that yeah, into reality. Yeah, right. It was fake and that's it. So with that being said, guys, <laughs> be careful when you do your drugs. Yeah, sure. Don't do Big drugs. Facts. Don't, that, don't, don't, don't do, do drugs. Okay. Don't even do it. You don't even got it. That shit was like a spell on us as a kid. Don't, don't yeah. do, do drugs. drugs. Yeah. This is your brain on drugs. Yo, Crack an egg. Funny, Crack an uh, egg. funny you said that. Uh, one of my teachers in Midwood, like uh, our health teacher, Mrs. Rogers, she was, she said that when you take acid, you turn into a glass of orange juice. And I think that bitch about four, five, four, five years later, like, hey, look where acid got me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. But it didn't get me there. But you know what I'm trying to say, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You're definitely not a bottle All right, so look, of orange juice. Let's conclude on the spaceship, right? Uh, back to the spaceship. Thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I was gonna bring it back. I thought I was gonna bring it back. We was in the spaceship the whole time. We just came back. Just landed. But look, now we gotta fill the spaceship up, right? So there's a spaceship blasting out into space. Say it's going to the next planet to preserve life, but Earth is done. Mm -hmm. We need to. There's only 20 seats on this spaceship. We need to load this spaceship with with the rocket fuel. No. <laughs> no, this is a joke. My bad. <laughs> but we need to load this spaceship with 20 musicians who's going to represent oh, fuck. Earth. Who's going to represent the paper Earth in the uh -huh. best way possible. You got to be alive? No. Okay. So I can Anybody. go dig a nigga out there grave. Dig a nigga out there grave right Come now. Come on with me, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, no, but the thing is, we don't go. We got to send the right 20 niggas to oh, go. Right. Okay. To right, represent so we gonna do? Right, we gonna Earth. Start. We going to next planet. Can I start uh. with the classical niggas? All the, the fucking Beethovens and all. What's the other niggas? All them. All them niggas. All them old school niggas with the Remember, niggas. we got 20 seats. <laughs> yeah, but we need them niggas, though. No, 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 no. Oh, no, like no I'm, I'm not. I'm, not. I'm, not. I'm just reminding niggas. niggas we got 20 seats. <laughs> right, this so shit going to go wait, by quick. Right, we're going to start with Biggie and Beethoven. Biggie and Beethoven. I got two. Well, we need Michael Jackson. Hold on, hold on. But does Biggie make it before like a Rakim makes it? Or Bob Marley? Hey, listen, man. Yo, that's so stupid. Yo, it get crazy. I'm over the question, man. We need that original Brooklyn motherfucker. We need hip hop there. Bro, we do need hip hop, but it's like, who's going to start hip hop to trickle that shit down? Listen, I'm You know what I'm saying? It's like a seed of each. Yeah, we want. It's an arc. It's a seed. It's an arc. genre, bro. It's like, it's an arc. All right, all right. Oh, man. This shit hard. Look, I'm going to say off top. The first person is the most important person. Is I'm person. saying Michael Jackson yeah. and Bob Marley pilot in that time. motherfucker. And then we're going to throw James Brown there. We have <laughs> James to. James Brown. James Brown. Yeah, I'm no, we James have Brown to. Because there'll be no Mike Jack. <laughs> without. Exactly. exactly. So we have to put James in there. Okay. Uh, that's three. Nah, man, we gonna go. Nah, I would throw Stevie crazy. in there too, bro. Okay. Stevie, that's, that's, that's four. Off top. We got to throw the Beatles Beatles in there. Oh God, I'm not throwing old niggas. I don't man. know. <laughs> yo, dude, I'm gonna come clean. That's not all that's coming on my shit. Yo, I'm throwing, yo, yo. we taking Ringo or that shit. Nah, honestly, nah, bro. Well, if the Beatles are there, then Jimi Hendrix is there, obviously. Nah, we gotta take the Rolling Stones over the Beatles, bro. We, all right, come. Hey man, this y'all spaceship. Oh, okay. <laughs> How many Jack seats we took already? Like, I'm gonna take Mick. We're up to five right now. We're up to five, five seats, but the but the Rolling Stones take up multiple seats, or they all in one. Seat? Yeah, no, nah, they take up oh, multiple too. seats. We I mean, don't gotta have them niggas either. Uh, but they take yeah, up yeah. multiple no, seats. They out. They, they out. They, 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 they out. out. They, they too many out. seats. Both out. thugs over them niggas. Sorry. Run DMC. Run DMC. All them niggas. So now let's get legit. All right, so we got Biggie Smalls. We got. Um, um, Bob Marley. We're gonna do the Michael. We, we need a producer Jackson. in there. We, gonna we got do James Brown. We need at least one producer to we help need more record than one. it. We're um, we gonna take Quincy Jones. We take Quincy and Rick Rubin. Rick Rubin. We're gonna take Pharrell as well. We take Pharrell. Sounds Absolutely. very wow. good so far. That's a fire That's album already. Seven. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna spice it up a little bit. Y'all leaving Stevie? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Oh, Stevie's there. Stevie's there too. Eight. Oh, that's eight. Um, we're gonna. Y'all took Bob, right? Yeah, my, Bob is there. Marvin. Okay. Marvin. Marvin. Y'all taking Jimmy? Jimmy's there. Of course, that's 10. Got 10 more seats left. All right, 10 more seats. Now we need to, we need to throw nah, some, some, some hip-hop <laughs> in there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we need to throw some hip-hop in that motherfucker. Let's uh, throw Jay-Z in there because he's the most versatile. He, going, he can work with all those motherfuckers. Got, <laughs> that. got that lit right there, right? Um, okay. Um... um Mm, I mean, we, we're definitely going to need, Ooh, like... I'm going to tell me personally... Oh, okay. uh, I was just going to say, like, a fucking Aretha Franklin type. I was going to say, I was going to say, you got to go to Soul real quick. So what are we going to do? Who are we going to do? We got, ready, got, you know, we got, we got... That's 12 niggas. 
Okay. Yeah, so, so a woman, get us a woman for sure. I'll take Anita Baker. Better bring some women. Anita Baker. Ooh. 13. Yo, better bring honestly, some women. I'm going to take Whitney Houston. Bring I'm going to keep I'm That's Whitney, three man. beautiful women. 14. Right there. Yeah, bring some women. I'm going to take Whitney. <laughs> Can we do my Angelou, even though she's not a rapper? We're going to take the poetry. Fuck it. We're going to have spoken word. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take the, the beat, so we're going to have spoken word. 13. We got um, five seats left. Yo, really think. Can I add Freddie Mercury from Queen? We don't need the whole group. I just need his writing. We'll take Freddie Mercury. Y'all leave Prince? Oh, Prince is Prince there. Is I thought nice. that was a given. The, the whole plane, the rocket ship is 17. purple. Seventeen. The rocket ship is purple, <laughs> niggas. The rocket ship is purple. Yeah, yeah. Down to three more heads. Prince. Three more heads. Mm. All right. Um, I'ma throw Kurt Cobain in that motherfucker. You gotta get a little weird. We gotta get a psycho on the throw a psycho grungy. white guy. Two hey, more heads left, man. Sure. Okay. You throw a little grungy up in there. You got two more heads. Yeah, really. I know I forgot that, niggas. I'm sorry, Biggie. I would, I would put Amy Wiles in there. Now you said Biggie. I'll Biggie, first person you said. Yeah, you said it's Biggie and Amy Wiles. And, 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 and if he's putting Amy Winehouse at number 19, then it's only safe to say that Tupac Shakur caps it off. Not bad as Sam. Yeah, I think I think this plan is gonna be good. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. Mason. Mason get to make it. Ah. You niggas don't want to. Sorry, Puff. Sorry, sorry Puff. No, I can't. I'm sorry, Run oh, DMC. Yeah, you said Run DMC. Fry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I love Rakim. Like I love him. Like he he got oh, me. Like I love Rakim. Oh, damn. 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 I think I think we concluded, man. Was that two wow. hours? Shh, I it didn't feel know. like you, doggy. It yeah. was two hours fourteen <laughs> minutes. Damn. 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 I can go to two forty seven, but I ain't trying to get you. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas not gonna go. Three cards. I want if y'all let me go get my outside. food. I'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> this should turn it into drink champs. <laughs> it has. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. So. Thank you guys for tuning in. Love, love. It's officially episode two, 47 thank minutes. Thank you for having us, man. Thank you for doing that. I love what y'all doing here, man. Thank you for having us, man. Can we man. come back? Yes. Man. You can do oh, always. Yes, sir. Always. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we've got to do 47 minutes on LSD 25. Oh, yes. Thanks, thanks. Yes. Yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You get a street too, bro. Show them, show them. Oh, wow. So I stopped a long time ago, but I didn't do the 47 minutes. I'll say that. Well, they're going to count it down. Some, some weirdo is going to count it. Yeah, no, it's okay. Okay. I, I put 47 in the corner, you know what I'm saying? That's fire, fire. bro. That's fire, bro. Yeah, you know, Yo, I ain't going to lie, bro. I wish I could... That's how I was looking for a little spot. Yeah, I'm yeah. like... Yeah. I was looking for a spot. Yeah. I can see this shit blowing up, bro. Like, mm. this is art, bro. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah man. That shit Y'all, is fire. Yeah. This shit is fire. dope. Appreciate it. This shit is dope. See, this is what we are. You zoom out, it's just one thing. It's just Dang one man. thing. It's one thing. Mm. You have niggas thinking when you can press X, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one thing. Yeah, it's just one thing. <laughs> zoom out. Zoom out, man. I got to zoom out every now and then. You know Turn on, tune out. Yeah. Drop in. Open your mind and all that. But yo, thanks y'all for tuning in once again. I'm have a little bit more verbal. Peace and love. Hey. Tata.com slash 47 minutes, just in case you're watching this on YouTube at the moment. Yeah. And you get a free three-month subscription. And yeah, much love. Peace.